Hello. It will begin. Hi, everyone. Thank you for joining me. Welcome to Trains. We're going to try and play a big train game. Let's see how that goes. Hopefully, everything's working. Everything's sounding okay. Everything's looking okay. This microphone's going to be right in my way. But I don't think there's much we can do about that. We're zoomed out kind of a lot because there's going to be a lot on this screen. I think there's just about room for my Marty Bucks. It looks like I've got space, but there's going to be companies all up here. Yeah, they fit. There's a game of patience I'm playing over here. It's all going to be great, hopefully. Is it all coming through? Great. Hi, everyone. Hey, Francois. I was intrigued as well. I could, one of the... Before we get into the playing stuff, uh, I I saw... I didn't see the, the top ten, actually, uh, but I heard about Edward from Heavy Cardboard listed this as his favourite solo game of all time. And that definitely piqued my interest. And then I saw Ricky Royal on the Beyond Solitaire podcast, which is excellent. And he he hasn't done a video for it yet, I don't think, but he has talked about getting it off the back of that and uh, loving the solo system. And yeah, I've, I've never played an 18xx game before or anything really very close. So yeah, and I've, I've since seen that well, maybe this isn't the first one to go to go for uh it's not the simplest one but hopefully i've got enough i've got enough of an idea that uh, i can play it badly get things right get strategy wrong that's that's the goal really uh, i think i scored just over two thousand uh, pounds the winning score to the minimum score you can call this a win you need nine thousand so i'm i'm quite short of that hey radisson lee bye tour matt Hi everyone. Hey Pineleaf. Thanks for joining on the Patreon. Are you on? You're not on the recent Patreon. Why isn't uh, Why isn't that updating? I think I need to, unfortunately, close the streaming software and open it up again. Because you joined up um, as I was setting all of this up. It's an unfortunate quirk of uh, Streamlabs, unfortunately. But thank you very much. And yes, we'll we'll talk about all the Patreon things. Is the Patreon robot working? Hey, <laughs> thanks, Matt. Brilliant still there. Hey, James. I don't really know much about 18x game, 18xx games still as well. I've got this. I've played this. We'll, we'll say one proper game of it. Um, and I've also got, I bought this a few months ago, 18 Lilliput. It's it's in a pile over there. Uh, I've still never played it, but that, that's one that had solo in. I think that's a kind of, not a full 18xx game. That's maybe an introductory one, but... Um, yeah, th this is a this is a big boy, and hopefully we'll do all right. I don't need. If you've got a PC, don't in, don't so sign up for the iCloud's password thing. It comes up for every website. I've got to put a code in every time I want a password. I don't want that. Oh yeah, I I, I put you in the the coming soon and stuff. This this should uh, have updated though. I don't have any control over this. This one's automatic, and unfortunately, the mini feed has not updated. So yeah, the, the rules as well. Like I, I think if you're if you're not familiar, as I am not, with uh, 18xx games, the the rules are very much. Well, some board games are like this as well, but it, it's very much um, technical manual, right? It's it's all in there, but yes, it's and there are examples and stuff, but very wordy. If you're coming in brand new to 18xx a lot of new concepts a lot of things to get on board i have kind of sneaked past a lot of this yeah i've got the solo rules of course there are some excellent um resources on board game geek that kind of convert the rules that you do need because there's a whole kind of section of the game you don't need to know about uh, probably multiple sections you don't need to know about if you're playing solo uh, but yeah there, there are some great player aids uh, some reference booklets on Board Game Geek that if I was more organised, I could uh, I could show you. But hopefully they'll they'll be there helping me out, so I don't forget too much. But yeah, they're, they're great for as well as you know videos from like Heavy Cardboard has done two playthroughs for it. I haven't watched a full one yet. I think I was watching some before this. Uh, I think I'm about about two hours in. Which, yeah, in this game isn't that much. Hopefully, we're not going to be here for many, many, many hours. 
but it is a game you can kind of lose yourself in that if you cut out kind of all of the decision making and thinking in the game i don't feel like there's many rounds in it at all like if it was just you know taking the actions it would probably be over and done with quite quickly but the the bulk of it and the fun of it really is in the kind of thinking about it and planning i don't know where to put this elephant we'll have it hanging about so i think we are roughly set up we can we can just about start uh, marty is currently n not here he's uh, currently protesting because as always he has been denied treats so shall we give this a go unfortunately i've got no room on the table for my mouse and keyboard uh, the the mouse especially would help me navigate this rules reference book right so I'll, I'll set this as the time every everyone that wants to skip the intro could come in at this bit yeah well I, it would be interesting to see as well like no offense to the videos that are there um even edward an aficionado an aficionado of uh, 18xx XX games in general i can't say words so that's not going to do well for a big playthrough is it Edward, an 18xx aficionado, uh, was still, I think his first playthrough, he was, he'd played this twice before, and yeah, there's, there's a lot to remember, a lot of things work differently, the types of railways, um, the types of track that you can put down in different places, there's there's a lot to take on board, and yeah, the, the rules booklet has been invaluable, and I'm still probably forgetting stuff, and even, you know, skipping kind of processes... There are actions that you can take. There's merging companies. There's companies acquiring other companies. Uh, there's even selling stocks. I haven't really done yet. I was just trying to like let's let's play a just play a full game of it. Stop worrying about every little thing, and just get through a game. And then hopefully, you know, it it once you're actually in the middle of doing something, it gets a lot simpler for me anyway. Like it's it's great seeing all of the stuff laid out for you, but once you can kind of take off from okay i think i've watched enough of this to get an idea now i'm gonna play through it myself and get tripped up by my own bad decisions but hopefully we can use that as a launching point so i'll stop saying things and well i'm not going to stop saying things am i i'll start playing hi everyone welcome i'm tom and today i'm going to be playing 1862 the train game for its subtitle no it's like um eastern counties railway mania in the eastern counties so we're in uh, we're in Norfolk, Norwich, uh, the kind of the lump on the east of uh, the UK, as they like to affectionately be called, I'm sure. Uh, yeah, we're, we're going to be wheeling and dealing, buying and selling some stocks, running some trains, and hopefully it's all going to go OK. So if you would like to help me keep making things like a lot of the people here have, uh, patreon.com forward slash slicker drips is uh, the way to do that. It is the reason that I'm able to be doing this right now. And I'd like to do it more and do it better. And every little helps in your support there. Thank you very much to everyone that is there. So, and this game won by one vote, I think, <laughs> won the monthly Patreon votes uh, for which games get chosen to be played through. So we're going to try our best to to make a profit here so the aim of the solo game is to have at least nine thousand pounds by the end of it i start the game with 650 pounds i have played you know many practice runs and little bits but one full proper game where i scored about 2300 i think so very well short if we can improve on that i'll call it a success you know if, if we can get through the game without making some uh, terrible error We'll call that a win as well. So, in the solo game, we have a kind of, well, patience, basically. Solitaire. Klondike, right? Uh, kind of. Not exactly. But uh, a very patience-like game for how we can buy these stocks, for which stocks are available. You know, the ones on the top of any of these stacks are available to get. And there's some manipulation that can be done. There's some getting rid of things. But right at the start of the game... We've been dealt. These stacks, I have my money. I am on easy to easy mode. There are a couple of things that can change. You normally start off with £600. You can start off with 650 if you'd like to make it easier. And you normally have nine of these stacks, and I have ten uh, to make it a little bit easier as well. So we have that. 
separate to the shares, there are these director's shares. Every share gives you 10% ownership in a company. These director's shares would give you 30% in the multiplayer game. In the solo game, they aren't used for that purpose. You're never going to own these. They are used, basically, they're, they're either out of the game or you can use them as a deck to see which companies are out of the game. So four companies right at the start aren't in this game out of the uh, the 20 that are about. Just making sure that four is the right number. It is. And you can see from the map here which ones they are because their starting hex isn't available for the game. So it's a roadblock as well. It's, you know, kind of defines a bit the, the routes we might take, the companies we might want to buy into. Because, yeah, especially if, say, ECR was, was over here, it would be a massive roadblock if we wanted to get to Bishop Stortford, for example. But Bishop Stortford's out of the game. Sorry, Bish. So, no worries there. We will be getting different kinds of railways. I haven't got an angle just for that bit. You can get local express and freight. We'll get into all that just by doing it, basically. Uh, but right at the start, we need to decide if we want a mulligan. We have an option out of get rid of one of these columns and deal a new one instead. The six cards go to the bottom of the deck. We get six new ones instead. Or we can change which companies are out of the game. We can is it reshuffle the, the whole ones and just have a look again. Yeah, put them back in the deck, shuffle them all up and draw four new ones. Or we can shuffle these permits up because when we start companies, they will take permits in this order and it's going to determine which type of trains they are allowed to run. So that might be a barrier as well for our plans. So you can do one of those. Discard a column change the companies that are out of the game, or change the order of the permits. There's also these player order tokens that we'll get into. It's, it's how the, the Yorkshireman, the, the AI, it's not really an AI, it's a, it's a timer. It's, a, it's something speeding you along in the game. It's how many trains they're going to discard from the deck. So, as a mulligan, I'm not really sure what I want to do. If we look over here, press my patience button, uh, and you can see what's in these stacks of cards. There are seven cards for each company in the deck and 20 companies. And so we've got 60 of those. Yeah, let's not start with that maths yet. <laughs> Out here. So you're kind of, and bear in mind, you don't take full on strategy advice from me. This is just kind of what I'm thinking. If a company is here represented a lot, there is a lot of potential for you to get a big share of that company. And I think we've got a bit lucky here in that, maybe maybe for later on, L and H here, these are all different railway companies you can start. We've got one, two, three, four, five of their stocks. So five out of seven isn't bad, is it? ECR, there's one, two, three, four, five out here, which most of them, yeah, you know, we can't all get them right at the start. We're trying to think early on, which companies will I be able to start? And where are they going to go? How close are they to each other? Can they piggyback off each other's railways? Because that's something that you can do. When it comes to the stock round, which I do start the game in, uh, your options are you can move a card from the top of a stack to the top of another stack if the card matches. So I could do that with it with one of these NNS cards, you know, kind of like Solitaire and reveal a new card. And maybe that's going to give me access to something I want. Maybe it's going to let me do some more switcheroos. Uh, you can discard a card from a stack. If that card belongs to a company that's not in the game. So you can see if we stick with this configuration here, FDR isn't in the game. So if we remove an FDR card, no, no penalty, no, no penalty, no penalty. There's nothing wrong with that. We are allowed to do that with without any uh, without any penalty. If we want to remove a company that's not yet out of the game, that company is removed from the game. So you've got to think about how that's going to affect. You're not going to be able to buy that company later on. If there are more stocks that come up, it's going to create another hole in Norfolk. And can you deal with that? Is that going to get in the way? It might get to a point where you've already put track down 
and that track is lost if it hasn't been uh, you can you can do some things to preserve it but yeah you can potentially really disrupt things by taking companies out of the game so you can move things from stack to stack you can discard cards from it you can deal yourself a new stack if you've got an empty stack uh, you can deal a new one your kind of penalty for that is you have to take a random company out of the game getting all my stock round uh, actions out here you can start companies, you can buy these shares, you can buy from the top of stacks. If there are multiple next to each other, you have to buy them all in one go. As soon as there are three shares in a company, you can float that company. Which, yeah, th th there's a lot of kind of terminology of stuff. There's, I, I can't remember the particular names for the various stations and things. But um, yeah, fl floating a company is basically when it kicks in, when it starts. And you want to do that, of course, so it can start having actions and earning your money and things. So you basically want to try and get three of a company to start it moving around. And you can buy additional shares later on. Uh, there's a load of decisions that go into starting a company, but we'll, we'll go into that when we actually do it. Uh, you can move a share, you can have a new column, you can take a thing off. Oh, and you can sell shares as well uh, that you have into the bank pool that's your other option so those are the things that i can do in the stock round so technically this is still deciding whether we want a mulligan because looking at this i think with a bit of fancy financial footwork we can get n and s it's quite close isn't it Knox and spencers if we, we can get rid of fdr because they're not in the game and right there is three shares there's another one not far behind we could get in the future or the company could buy it so N and S is a very real early possibility. They would start here. And depending on the order I start these companies, so the first company you start in this game at the moment is going to be a local company. Local companies deliver to... They, they want to go, basically, they're, they're local trains. They want to go to as many of these little black dots, these little towns as possible they will go between from station to station basically but they want to go to as many of these from the from white dot to white dot but hopefully through as many little black dots as possible so starting at n and s here like that could be an okay local train it could go up here that's a couple of them but really it would be nice i was thinking after my last game i had too many of these big stations in the way of my local trains it would be great if you could start one of these three or even one of these four as a local train, and then go through all these three before you got to another big station. Because it, it makes a difference as to how the trains can move. Uh, the, the number they can move is basically the number of big stations they can go through, apart from freight trains. But let's not get into them yet. Freight, freight isn't for a little while. That, that's the third company. So N and S could be one. But they would kind of be off on their own. What else could be a good company that we could start? LNH have got some they're not too near the top though but if we're moving n and s there's a europe I, I shouldn't i shouldn't call them by names it's eur isn't it <laughs> they've got actual names the the companies that's <laughs> just what i think when it's eur uh, there is one there's one right here as well if we could kind of get that out of here there'd be another eur right at the top where's there another one though not for a while. We would have to discard some things and risk. Yeah, you know, when you discard things, you're taking um, you're taking other companies out of the game, which might be one that you really want later on. ECR is there's a lot of those quite near the top, isn't there? EUR would be quite nice though for what I was just saying about having one of these companies to start a nice local line. If I can maneuver it so that there would be three EURs near the top. So this, this is all about, and I'm talking loads of this, that this is what this game is going to be. It's going to be a lot of decisions and thinking of where I'm going wrong. Basically, am I happy with these things? I think I'm happy with the companies that are out of the game because I have got this area I could do a nice local line with. And if I can get two companies close to each other, they can share their railways, and that'll be okay. So I don't think I'm bothered about these. 
and maybe I'm just not experienced enough to know that I should be bothered about them, but I, I'm, I'm fine with that. Getting rid of a column. I don't think this column interests me that much. It does have an E and H. It makes three E and H's. But it's got I and B. That's out of the game. That's nothing. N and E, out of the game. SVR, out of the game. WVR, there are a few of those. It would be a shame to lose that. And there's another one that's in the game. But maybe we get rid of that column and see if there's something more useful. I think if... Or you can you don't have to take a mulligan. You can just say I'm happy with what I've got and go from there. But I think if anything, it would be that column and see if there's anything better that can come from it. So I'm just trying to think how I would get three EURs to come out. I think it could potentially be done. Maybe we say no mulligan. And hopefully, yeah. If you're experienced with this game, especially if, if you're watching back later, I'm just saying because it's more likely there'll be more people that know 1862 after this, uh, let me know strategically what I uh, should be doing because it'll all help. Hey, Christopher. Yeah, it, yeah. I, this, is, uh, this is brand new to me. Uh, but yeah, ho hopefully we'll be all right. And yeah, I, I know all about the, like... Um, 18xx games a lot of them like someone was saying to me in the the discord yesterday that like most of them don't even work with less than three players not a lot of them have solo modes i think there was a list of maybe three or four that did and so that that was what was kind of so interesting about this is that um it was a big heavy game this is According to Board Game Geek, anyway, which is you know determined by what the publishers say and by user votes, this is about the same weight as On Mars, which I have done a couple of playthroughs for. Vital Lizard is On Mars, and yeah, it's a very complicated game. It's a game where even though I've played it about six or more times, I still kind of feel like I'm a bit lost strategically with what to do here. Uh, so yeah, but if if it On Mars could be done, so hopefully this can be as well. I think I'll say no mulligan and with a kind of thing at the back of my mind that maybe I should have mulliganed this uh, column. So let's just get into that um, that stock mode. So I've already said what the actions were. One thing for sure. So we know these are out of the game. I'm just going to have them down here in the bank pool because you, you discard things to the bank pool and these for companies that are out of the game can just remind me. So FDR is a company that is not in this game. I can discard their card with no penalty. So then... I want to try and reveal... EUR, really. That would be the one I wanted as local. Can I do that just by manoeuvring these cards around? Because there's an EUR right here. There's one, there's one, there's one. I don't know if I can do it in a way that makes EUR the first company that I buy. Because I want that to be the local one. You know, the, um, NNS could be the, the express one. It would be better at that, I think. N and B and WVR, I don't think are really viable to get this early on, just because of their stocks are like further down in these lists. Because I can move these N and S's around and get access to things. Like I can move this one off, and there's one EUR ready. But I only have to buy one, right? I only have to buy one stock, and that defines what the company is, right? I don't have to buy three and float the company. It's as soon as I buy the first share. Yeah, as soon as you start the share, you know... You say what type of company it is, how much its stock is worth, 
and it gets the train permit. It's not until it's floated that it goes on the stock market. Okay. So as soon as I get access to one EUR stock, I can start the company and say that it's going to be my local train. Which I think would be okay. N and B would be better, just because it's also next to some more towns. But I don't think there's a lot I can do about that, just because of what's out for me right at this start. I can't really get to a ECR would be no good. N and N and B would be the best, but they're they're kind of buried. There are there are many stocks of them out. There's one there, one there, one there. They're very far down. There's another one there. It'd be good for later, and maybe I'll get another local thing later. But I will uh, I will decide something honest. Yeah, let, let's just say, here you are. I'm going to buy one of their stocks. So, things to do when starting a company. <laughs> Hopefully we'll get all of this right. So first of all, I'll find EUR in the great pile of companies. And there are two distinct types of companies in this game you can be chartered and uncharted uh, so that basically means if you start a chartered company you say what the par value is basically what you're paying for each share and it's going to determine the starting value of the company on the the stock market so i could just pay 54 pounds for this share that would be the best for me, wouldn't it? Because I want to buy three of them to start the company. The company will start lower on the stock market. And when it actually gets floated and actually kicks in, it gets £180 times the value I pick here from... No, no it gets uh, 100 It gets £10. What I... Ten, let's say sentences properly. It gets... 10 times the par price in money from the treasury, I think, like from the government. So if I pay £100 per share, once the company floats, it will get £1,000 into its coffers to buy trains, to run into all of its incidental costs, to maybe artificially boost its stock market price if I want to do some dodgy things. So much better for that. It gets these stations they cost it £180. It's got to do that. There are a few differences in it, buying shares and things later on, but let's let's leave it there. A non-chartered company, once it floats, as soon as I've got three shares uh, in that company, it gets five times the value I pick here for its treasury. But I can pick up to £200 as its starting value. So I can start it way up in the, the stock market. It has to buy two station tokens at £40 each. But it can buy up to six more as well. So I can have loads of stations on here if I want to. And they can earn money from stocks that are still out in the display rather than just ones that I have and the company has. I know kind of the difference rules-wise... But I'll say I don't really know when I should be doing one or the other strategically. So so it's going to have more money in its treasury. I'm going to say it's a chartered company. So I have one stock in EUR. I'm going to say it's a chartered company. And I choose its par price. Maybe I should start low so I have a load of money left. I think I'm going to say... 58, so I, I need this one thing. Don't drop this tray full of tokens. Unfortunately, this tray I had for another game doesn't quite fit in the 1862 box. There is a there is quite a nice uh, upgrade kit. I forget where it's available. But it's on a website, I'll tell you that. So it's, it's going to be floated by the time we get to actions, so I'll get a token ready for it there. I'm going to say 58 per share, and I'm just buying one share, so that's going to cost me 58 of my pounds. So do I get 42 back? My special Marty Bucks, it does come with paper money, of course. 
But uh, actually, getting this game was part of the roller coaster that led to getting the Marty books. So there we go. I've bought one shock, it, one stock in one thing. I <laughs> haven't even got into the the George Hudson maneuver. Ugh. Right. So I've started that company and. It gets the first train permit. It's not floated. It's not on the stock market. It won't operate. But it has a permit to operate local trains. Then. It's a bit further away. But. N and S should definitely be a company I get just because of how many are available here. It will be Express. If I grab it now, and the company after that will be Freight. Which company is likely to be available after that? It's probably not going to be Y and N. I don't really know because I, I've heard I've heard all of these little things that you know it, it, it'd be good if you can get three companies right at the start of the game and you want to try and get all six before the end of the game so it, there's there are six companies earning you money hopefully moving up the stock market it's just yeah I suppose sometimes you're just not in a position to do that because of what's uh, come out here So yeah, E and H we're not going to be able to start. Even if we move it over here, we can move the whistle. One. Maybe we could start ECR. There'd be two. We can move on to each other. We can move that there, discard that. That can come over here, and then there's three. And where would ECR be? ECR is here. Maybe that would be a nice little freight route. Get them delivering to London. How how far can freight trains go? Not very many spaces to start the game with. But they would kind of have things built in because companies have already started. Yeah, I'll, I'll just do some things now because I'm aware that taking ages. I'm going to buy three stocks and this is going to start another company and float it. I'm going to make it cheap because in my uh, in my railway baron guys in my fat controller outfit that's what I'm going to be. So yeah, if you start the company higher up it's going to be worth more. It's going to start with loads of money in its uh, bank account. But I might just cheap out. N and S. Going to be all the way up here. I think... I should start them at maybe £62 a share. I'm buying three of them. Let me just start them all at 58 I'll give them, I'll give them a bit more money. So 62 times 3, and this is where, yeah, the, <laughs> there's, there's some multiplication and stuff uh, throughout this. That's well, like going to be 184. That'll cost me, because I'm buying three shares. So I get 16 back. Poker chip things are a bit too full. And then I need the company thing. Well, luckily, it's the one on the top. Let's say it's chartered. So I've got the same decisions to make, chartered or uncharted, but I've bought three shares, so it's going to start. It's going to be an express train company. It floats. They all float. It gets three stations because it's a chartered company. It must buy these. So because it's chartered, it gets 10 times its par value in its bank. So 620. It has to pay 180 for these three stations. So what's that? It'll have 440 left in its treasury to buy trains and things with. Try and make it so you can see the, the chips that it's got. So I've got two companies. I haven't fully started them both yet. But hopefully 
I put myself in a position where I can kind of uncover these cards because I can now. Yeah, I did have a plan. The plan was to move this somewhere. We can put E and H over here. Oh, thanks, Hazel. Yeah, it's 186, isn't it? Multiplying one thing by three and not the other. So, I can put this Y and N over here now. And now there's another Eastern Union available to me. So I can buy that. And I just will. Oh, yeah, I see how I get the three N and S's now because we can move that over here. We could buy that. And then there's an EUR waiting. I don't know if I can afford to buy four of a company, though. So I can buy another EUR. That's 58. Still got a fair bit of money, though, haven't I? Because I've started these cheap. I could have started them cheaper, though. Oh, NNS should all also be on the stock market at 62, because they have actually floated and started. Because they've got their three shares... So how was I hoping to get ECR started? I'm not sure how that plan was going to work. Because now, yeah, I can I can move this ESR down here. That's fine. If I buy that N and S, it's going to be 62. Buying that's going to be 58, so is that 120? I would still have enough to buy three of something. Because th then there's another N and S that the company could maybe buy. And then that's more shares I can sell when they get mega rich. But is there a way that I could start a third company? After doing that. Oh, there's maybe ESR. Oh, and ESR are in quite a nice place, actually. If I'd thought about this, ESR might be the better choice for the local. As it is, they would end up freight. Which is not too bad. They 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 can make it down to London. It's just that ideally you want to start from a port. We've got EUR, N and S. N and S would probably be better as freight. They're just a long way from, like, London. You'd like them to go to one of the red places for the most money. So, yeah, ESR could start, but this is blocked off because the company's not in the game, and this red line's impassable. So you'd have to kind of duck in here and then go somewhere. It's not really very ideal for freight. It doesn't seem... I don't know. I think, yeah, if this if this whistle was out of the way, I, I could just do that. Maybe it's time to discard something from the game because it's way out of the way of the area that I'm starting in. We do randomly have to take a company out of the game if I discard a card from a company that is in the game, I'm just taking out the, the companies that I have started. Because they're not uh, in contention, I don't think, right? Uh, so, yeah, we, we could discard this, and then I think we would have access to all three ECRs, which was the plan. I think that would be the thing to do. So yeah, I'm going to discard and remove from the game. Oh no, I, I don't do it randomly, do I? I take... WSTL off, and that company is out of the game. I don't look at it randomly. Let me check my... Uh... It's hard to check the player aid when the mouse <laughs> is just floating in thin air. Yeah, remove one from the company. Yeah, it will put that company out of the game if it's not already. So... Wisbeck St. Ives Cambridge Junction Railway is now out of the game. 
but I can now do a bit of this. We can move that onto a like thing and I can buy three ECR and start that as the freight, which actually would be decent, wouldn't it? Well, it's right next to London. It would be nice to... And it could come in from a port here. Harwich? Harwich? Should know these place names, shouldn't I? Yeah, let's, let's buy these three ECR then. So how much are they going to be? Should we make that really cheap? I think it could be 58 as well, couldn't it? So what's that? 174. Three of those. I think so. I've still got a load of money left, though. Oh, I am going to buy... I need to buy more EUR, don't I? Let's make it 58. So ECR is now in the game. Have I ever been in uh, the first round of a game for so long before? But this is kind of setting up your game. Like a lot of the stuff in here, I'm not saying anything that I'm doing is uh, good. But all of these decisions that I'm making here are <laughs> pretty much what you're going to be doing for the next uh, few rounds. Are the kind of machinations of what you started here. So we need ECR tokens. I've got three, so they float. Uh, so I said 58, didn't I? We'll stock companies later at better things. So their stock price is going to go on 58. They are going to get 580 minus 180. So they're going to get 400 in their treasury. They get a freight permit. And I think that's that. And then all that's left to do is I think I'm going to buy one each of these. Well, I'm going to buy this one mainly so I get access to the third EUR one. I don't know if I want to buy that one. See how much money I've got left. So they are 120, aren't they? Could probably have afforded to go a bit more expensive on one of the companies. So I've still got 50... I've still got 54 left. So I, I can't afford another... No, I can't afford any of the shares of things I've already started. I could have afforded to make something a bit more expensive. And the, the order that they're on the stock market is the order that they activate in as well. So that's an important decision too. Now let's just leave it and have the money spare for next time. Maybe I should have started higher. So I've got three of these now. They get their 580 minus 180. Because it means that the companies are starting off with not an enormous amount of money. Uh... Their home bases are here. And they floated last, so they go underneath on the stock market here. And I think we're now ready to move on from this stock phase. Unless you know, I make any of the companies have their stocks on top so they can buy their own stock later on. I could do a bit more, you know, just line them up. I can get rid of that for no penalty. I can line that one up, which means I can line that one up. And now ECR's on the top, so I, they could buy one of their own stocks. I don't think there's any more matching stuff that I can do unless I want to start removing things out of the game, which I could do. Like WNR is all the way up here. I could probably remove them. Without too much hassle, but I don't think it's going to. I don't think it's going to reveal anything that interesting just yet. Let's move on. So I've had my first stock round. We are in phase A of the game. That means we have one operating round between stock rounds. As we progress through the phases, we will get two operating rounds where the trains build things and hopefully operate. And finally, three operating rounds. The game ends as soon as the first D train is bought. We're going to have a few more operating rounds, but then that's it. 
there aren't that many rounds. I think um, someone advised me on Twitter if you could if you can buy the trains properly, if you can organise your train buying efficiently, you can work it so that you can get 12 operating rounds in the game. Because the first one, anyway, is a bit of a dud. It doesn't really happen. So, operating round time. The companies act individually and in their stock market order, I believe. So, we're going to start off with NS here. So, first of all, they can merge with another company. They're not going to do that, so let's not get, get into that. You have to be connected by rails to another company. They're not going to do it. Lay and upgrade track. So at the start of the game, they need to lay some track on their starting place and put their station there. You can place a station on their turn, and this doesn't count. They're, you know, their their home base. And on your turn for laying track, at the start of the game, you can either put a yellow end tile. Tiles go where they need to, basically. There's, there's, you put things without letters on spaces without letters. You put N tiles on N spaces. You put Y tiles on Y spaces. So if you need to put an N tile down, that's your build. You can put two other yellow tiles down. That would be your build. And later on, you can upgrade a yellow to a green or a green to a russet. Uh, and you can, you can put extra little stations down or, or connect to London. For now, though, N and S is express... And they are going to be connecting from the port, I guess. So we could we could just have a nice straight here. Yeah, we we could make something later on that would connect up. Could go up here if it if it could connect up later on to our local, which could go through here. It's just going through a couple of stations before it gets to those local places. We probably want another one kind of up here for the local train but that's later we'll have it we'll have it trying to connect up so that we kind of get the most use out of things so NNS's home station has to go on there and then the next one we could just have another nice straight so you see that the the tiles correspond to what you put in them on as well you kind of choose the angle of the track that you want that's up to you but you know, it was put on a large station, a big white circle. So that's what I put down on top of it. And yeah, it's going to come from the port. And let's have it running through here. Now, am I going to start WVR later? Probably. I don't know how soon I'm going to start it. And the next company that comes in will be Freight, which this wouldn't be too bad to be Freight. It could use this. I was thinking because... Um, they have to come in and put their station the same way. You know, when they come into the game, their train station goes on here. Whether that means they need to upgrade the tile or block the tile for other people by putting theirs here, they'll do it. So, and if they get removed from the game for any reason, they would get rid of this tile unless it's got their station marker on it. So I might just do that just in case. Let's just pop that on. But I don't want that to be straight, do I? Because this train line, EUR's our local, it's going to go to all three of these, I hope, and then it can link up here. So I want this to be at an angle to connect there, I think. Yeah. That's what I'm thinking for them anyway. So, I'm not merging. I have laid stroke upgraded track. Place a station marker. There we go. You can place one station marker. That one is the one you have to do when the company first operates. It doesn't count towards your one station marker. Then run your trains. The first operating round, your companies don't have trains. So, yeah, th there is no running your trains. If you, if you don't run your trains, your revenue is zero. So it still kind of happened. But, yeah, your, your revenue... On this track here, uh, it won't show up on the track because it's zero. You then need to decide, are you going to pay dividends or is the company going to withhold them? If they pay dividends, the people with the shares gain the money. If they withhold it, 
they get all of the money, but their share price goes down. If they pay dividends, their share price potentially can go up. There are no dividends to be paid, so they have to withhold. So, And this is true for all of the companies. So they have to go down on the stock market there. They move one space to the left, if you were looking you know, side on. Yes. Then, purchase trains. You can buy trains. Have I got a nice zoomed in bit of the trains? There we go. You can buy the top train. It's this much. So an A train, we're looking at uh, an express company. So here we go. They would buy an express train. It cost them £100. When we get to the C phase, these trains rust and go out of the game. Now, the, the phase does tell us that the trains receive a free warranty when you buy them. You can buy more warranties when you buy the train. They're £50 each, and you take a token off every time you run the train. Remember, you have to run the train every round, even if you don't want to. So it's it's how many rounds these warranties are going to last through, and maybe if we get into C and it's still got warranties on it, it will last a few rounds longer. I don't know that that's worth getting. So I think... And they can buy more than one train. I don't think they're going to get that much use out of it yet. So I think, I think they can just buy one. So this comes from the company's money. The company is buying the train. So N and S are forking out £100 to buy this little express train. And it's going to start moving their passengers next operating round because we've already had the train running bit. So purchase trains, they purchased a train. Now it's worth noting though as well that all of the A trains are discarded at the end of this further solo game. So yeah, if you, if you want more, this is your chance to get cheap trains, but the better trains move more. Yeah, they're just going to buy one and then acquire. Now rede redeem a share first. So this is where a company, is there NNS available? This is where a company can get one of their own shares. Just make sure it goes up here. In the solo game, you can't interact with the bank pool whatsoever. But companies can. So these companies here, that are in the bank pool currently, are out of the game. Don't even worry about them. So nobody's interacting with those shares. But later on, shares from companies that are in the game might be in the bank pool. At this point of redeem one share, they can get one share, either from the bank pool or the top of a column. And the share goes to the company, so when they do pay out dividends, the company will get a taste as well. So I think it would be worth N&S buying a share. They're a chartered company, and they have not been part of a merger, so it costs par price. And this is good later on for if you want to um, get shares when the, when the share price has rocketed, it's, it's par price for them. Still, so uh, yeah, for par price, which is 62, so the company's going to pay 62. Get them their change. I filled these rows a bit too full. And uh, yes, they have a share in themselves now. So next time, and they will be able to operate because they've got a train, they've got some track. Hopefully it's all going to be great. And they will get a bit of that money. So redeem a share. They did it. Acquire a company. Nope. Not going to do that yet. I'm going to get into it. So there we go. There is a company <laughs> that is activated. Next up, ECR is on top. So they are going to do the same thing. So can't merge. Lay or grade track. They need to put something here. And it would make sense, wouldn't it, to connect to a line that we are definitely building here. EUR is going to be building around here. So it would make sense for ECR here to pop a bit of track in that direction. Although they could, late, later on too, we can upgrade this station so that it, as well as going straight here, it could branch out and EUR could use this train for even more local places. I didn't think about that. That's pretty cool. For now, we'll just have it facing, and we can upgrade it later. That can be one of their builds. They need to put their ECR star station on there. And they can't build there. Oh. 
If they want to build two things, though... You can't build... Well, you can build an N, but it's the only thing you're allowed to build. So what if they... Instead of just making a straight one... They could do a sharp turn here that could still be upgraded later. And then do another kind of sharp turn. But one that is going to connect to Colchester over here. Hopefully in a bit. That seems pretty good. But the freight train can only move. The problem is going to be the freight train can only move one space, essentially. Now, the best way, I think Heavy Cardboard put it, the number on here is one hex, but it includes the hex that you, you start with. So technically, you get two hexes. Uh, the best way uh, he put it to, to think of it is it's the number of hex sides that a freight train can pass through. So one freight train can only basically move one space, starts in its home space, and moves on. Oh, it wouldn't get to move now anyway, because it hasn't bought a train. That's nothing to worry about. Isn't it? Oh, because next time they could upgrade the train. Now, they're not going to be able to upgrade to green, because we'll... If somebody buys a B train, you could. Just thinking, I want to make the most of it, and get two two things built, but I don't know if it's feasible because they probably just want to connect to Colchester and we'll go up to these towns later on. Maybe they only want to build one thing. Because you want you you need to build things in your network, basically. I don't think we're going to be able to get to green really quickly. So I think we're going to go back to my original thing. We should have ECR going over there. Hey, Monica, how's it going? You'd be kicking us to the curb. Oh, no. I came for a live event. The movement is complicated. And the movement that I just described is only for freight trains. Only freight trains work like that. But we'll, we'll get into that next operating round. <laughs> She's ages away. <laughs> um, right. So ECR, I just lay in one track. Am I sure about that? Not one tiny bit. I wish EUR had gone first so there was a thing here and then they could continue that railway. But I haven't done it well enough. They could wait to buy a train, but that's another round they're not going to do anything in. Well, I'm going to do that. Let's make decisions and correct me in the comments later with what I should have done. Let's make decisions and do things. So they've laid their one bit of track instead of two. No need to place a station marker. They've placed their base one. Um, run trains, haven't got any. Revenue, they're not paying out to dividends because they didn't earn anything. So they haven't really got a choice. So their share price goes down one. Purchase trains, they'll purchase a train so they can act next time. So that's £100. Uh, redeem a share. There is an ECR share right up on the company and i think is there a way that i can get these shares I'm not too sure about that uh, so an ecr share is 58 so that comes from their money they will buy that they've got a bit of a share in themselves as well that's them done they're not acquiring anyone finally eur I need to make sure my money is separated from the companies and I've been going like an hour and I haven't had a drink of my lovely tea. It's all cold. And Rich isn't going to be in for ages. Drink your tea when it's warm, everyone. A reminder, any, anyone that needs it. Right. EUR. Can't merge. Lay track. They start in Colchester, which is an N space. So they have to put down this N tile. Which... Oh dear. Well, it'll have to be upgraded later, won't it? I was thinking the freight train would like to go into Harwich, Harwich, here. It's a nice way to start from a port and deliver to London. It would be a nice little route here. But the way the N is, it's more important early on anyway that the local train can deliver to its local people. 
So I think we'll place it like that. So it had to be an end tile. So it could only be that one. You haven't got a choice of any other yellow end tiles. So that has to be their build. They put their home station on there and there is space for another person's station on here. Uh, the companies can sell shares to buy trains, I believe. If they need to buy a train and they can't afford, they can sell a share in themselves. And I think that's how you can do some wheeling and dealing that you can get the shares then for cheap. Right. So they've laid their track. Don't need to place another station marker. Run trains. Can't. So they did zero. They moved down onto the bottom of the stack of the next space. Purchase trains. They'll purchase a train. Again, I don't think it's worth them purchasing multiple just yet. So they're just going to buy one. There is not an EUR at the top of any of these stacks. And let's make sure local is up top. So I remember all of these things. And then... That is it. Well, they're operating, right? They can't re redeem a share. They're not going to acquire. So I think that's it for all of them. We move on. To the stock round again. In the solo game, there is no parliament. That's something for the multiplayer game. There are no parliament phases in here. So I've got no idea how they work. Because I haven't even looked at that bit. As soon as I saw they're not in the solo game. Well, that's something I don't need to know. We have another stock phase then. I do have some money. I don't know that there's any... I haven't got enough money to buy three shares. But I can sell shares in a company. I can sell a share of a company. And then the company would be able to redeem it. It's just their share prices have gone down. Like if I sell a share, I think it depends what type of company it is, what money I get. Uh, it wasn't available in the stock round. It's, uh, it's available now because I think ECR, one of them was in the way. I think NNS was here and now they've bought that share. I can do that. So I will be doing that. I'm just checking the rules on me selling shares. And if that's something you should even be doing. Sell shares. It's the current stock market price, right? Yeah, the current stock market price. If it owns a train or half the price rounded down if the company does not own a train. So if I wanted, say, e ESR to start as a company and try and be quick, I could do that. Oh, I do need to do... It's the end of the first operational phase. The rest of the A trains go out of the game. As soon as the first B train is bought, we go into phase B. Green tiles come into the game. It's all groovy. So maybe we could have done a green upgrade. So I can now move things. Uncover that L and E. Or I could make it so that there's an empty column... And I can put more things I can put more things out. So that's the only bit of movement I can do. Re revealing L and E doesn't really help. Is there even more L and E out here? I think. Now it could be bad. I don't think it could be that bad. Uh, yeah, we we might. So I can fill in this column as an action. And in the stock range, take as many actions as you like. But my penalty for doing so... Oh, wait a minute. One of the companies is still... ECR is still in here. They shouldn't be. One of the companies gets removed from the game. So hopefully, it's something that's nowhere near us and we're not going to be bothered about. So removed from the game is W and F. That is... Mm, it could be worse. So, we lose... The W and F home space. But now I can get rid of these out of the game for no penalty because that company's already out of the game. So I can reveal some WVR there. I could actually put that up there. Put the ENRs onto that one. And now there's an ECR for someone to buy, which could be me. Just don't think like, so you can, as long as you've got two shares in a company, you can hang on to control of it. 
Is that something people usually do is sell a couple of these shares so I would be able to afford to start another company so it can start going a bit sooner? I don't think I would buy another share in. I have got, you know, four shares in NNS right now. It's just those shares are about to go up. They've all dropped because they've had their first operating round where they didn't do anything because that's what you have to do. There's an iron... Oh, if I reveal iron B here... I can make another empty deck, basically, because these three aren't in the game now. I can make another empty column. Oh, I, I haven't filled up the column, have I? So, we need six cards here. Two, three, four, five, six. So that's what I paid that penalty for. And... So EUR can buy a share in themselves now, if I want them to do that. It's also, so we've got e and R, ENR, ESR, and L and H. We could all buy three shares in. ESR is right in our network. I would just have to sell shares in companies that are already doing badly. But then, maybe they're going to be great. Do I do I do a round of making them better and then sell their things? Or do I sell a couple now just so I can start a company and get that going? So ENR, miles away for now. Would join up later on. L and H, more miles away. ESR, right in the thick of it. And these railways can all share each other's lines. The next train would be freight. So ESR for freight. If that hadn't been blocked off, that would be quite nice. Although it can link up with this eventually. We would need much better freight trains, though. We are starting off with these bees. So what if I sold? And if I sell an NNS, they can buy it. If I sold it, they slide down, they zigzag if you sell a share. They don't just go to the left like before. So I could get £58, then I'm worth 56 The minimum I need to start a company is... Was it 162? Right now I've got 112. So I would need 50 for selling something. What's going to make the least amount of money? I think ECR for now. I'm going to sell a share in them as well. So I get 54. They go down to 52. And then I'm going to start ESR. Buy three shares in them. So what did I say that was going to be? 112. No, can't be 112. Uh, 162. I was thinking I've got loads more than that. 160. To leave me with three money. So no, I definitely can't afford to increase their share price any. So I need their tokens. This is a lot earlier than I started multiple companies last time. We'll see if that's a good thing or not. Right. So they're coming in. I want to find all of their bits. Here we go. A fourth company will make them chartered as well. Because I don't know what I'm doing. They are going to have 540 in their bank. Minus 180 will leave them with 360.
And, uh, oh, they need to be on the stock market at 54 on the bottom. And, yeah, that's going to be that. Is that all I want to do with a stock round? I could uncover a couple more things. Can't really do anything there. That's there waiting to be bought. I could uncover some of these and get these discarded and bring another. Oh, they need... Oh. I could bring another column out, but I think it's a bit early. We could get rid of WNR. Where are they? WNR are right up here. That would give us access to some things. I think now let's let's go into some operating rounds. Let's see some trains working. So we're still in phase A. I don't think there's a way around that unless you buy like all of the A trains in the game in one great big go. So we're still in phase A until somebody buys a B train. So we only get one operating round. So maybe I should have waited and started ESR at that point. We'll see. So, in the order of their stock price, most is N and S still. So we'll get to the the order of things. There's going to be no mergers. Lay and upgrade track. So they are here. They're kind of happy with what they've got. But we want to build a network to help out the local train too. We can't build green rail because no one, we're not in phase B yet. So we can connect up a couple of these to make it easier on the, the local trains. Yeah. Oh, we're going to need some kind of upgrades. <laughs> if switch is really going to be just um, cut off. Oh, they're not. They can just build straight into here, can't they? That'll be fine. Oh, they need their freight permit too. So that's their two builds. They can place a station. They can't. There's nowhere to place a big station. Uh, run their trains. So. Train types. They have an express train. And this does like tell you kind of what you need to know. So express trains can go to ports, the blue things. They can go to um, the red areas, the, the, the other bits of the UK. They can go to them. They can count as stops for them. They've got two stops, basically. They are large stations or off-board bits. And there are, of course, rules to moving your trains. Let's make sure I get them all. Running your trains. Yep, 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 yep. You have to follow. Each train has, goes on a run. Each run has to follow a continuous line. They're trains. They have to. Uh, they have to begin and end in large stations or off-board areas. You're not allowed a run that goes from port to port. Uh, you are not allowed one that goes from red to red either. Your run has to include at least two large stations or a large station and a red off-board area. At least one of your runs, and at the beginning we've only got one train, so each company can only do one run. But at least one of your runs has to go through your home station. And every additional run has to intersect with a previous run. So maybe they should have bought another A. Yeah, it wouldn't be a solar game without some take takes backsies. They're going to buy another A train. The ones that I removed from the game. It doesn't make a difference to anything. They just get discarded. And it comes right out of N and S's pocket, not mine. Because they'll be able to do a bit more, I think. Yeah, so the, the additional runs have to intersect with each other somewhere. So meet, basically. They don't have to cross over, necessarily. But a run could be from the port to there, from there to there. That could be two just little trains. If a station's completely tokened out... Uh, you can connect two runs, as long as runs terminate there. It'll make more sense when we do it, I promise. 
Uh, yeah, off-board bits are separate stations. And you can only run trains you've got a permit for. You can have other trains, but you can only run ones that you've got a permit for. Uh, you, your particular trains can go to the same spaces as your other trains have, but you will only score each location for that company once on a turn. So even if the you had a short train that went from here to here, and then a massive train that went from here to here to anywhere, you can't rescore these places in the same turn anyway. So that's just training in general. Express trains. So you count the number of big stations that you're going to, and our baby A express trains can go to two places. So the simplest of those could just be home station, because one of your runs has to go through your home station. Home station to there, that's two big stations. That's the limit of what it can do. Uh, or, you know, if, if we had rail going to N and B here, it could go uh, just from... Well, actually, it couldn't because it can only go through two stations and this is in the way. But, you know, if, if we had one going from here to here, that's still two big stations. So it could do that as well. Uh, there'd just be a kind of a gap in the middle that it wouldn't really be bothered about. So yes, it's going to get money, though, for the large stations, off-board areas, and ports that they visit. The number says the maximum of those that it can go to in one visit. So if we did that really simple route, the company would earn £40 this turn. It's not a lot, but uh, yeah, they can do a couple of things. They will score off-board bits, though. So I can start right on a port... Yeah, you, in, you can't intersect at ports. Yeah, the express trains can go to ports, can visit ports. So we can do, they've got two trains that can go to two stations each. So one run can go from here to here. One run can go from here to the port. Port's just this imaginary space up here at the arrow. They intersect at this place, so that's fine. They go through their home base, so that's fine. And we would score, even though they go through this twice, remember you only score each space once, so they will score 20, 40, and then for the port, we're in phase A still, so that would earn 60. So a total of 100 for those two trains. So we can put our little marker on here. They will score a hundred. Well, they their revenue is a hundred pounds. That's them running their train. So that's how express trains work. I hope and then pay or withhold revenue. So they can withhold their revenue and keep that hundred pounds for themselves. You might want that because they're gonna have to buy a train sooner or later. They want money for that. But if they do pay dividends, you get some money too. The stock round's coming up. And they're going to get a bit. They've got a share in themselves and can buy another from the one that I sold. So, I think they will pay dividends. So it's £100. Remember, every share is 10% of the company. So for every share you get, you'll get £10. So I will earn £30. N and S have a share in themselves. So they will earn £10 as well. And if we go and look at the stock market here, these little numbers are a little guide to tell you how far the share value will increase. So they paid dividends. If, uh, if your total payout was 56, they wouldn't move. They would just kind of spin their wheels. If they paid out 6 to 11, which they did, they paid out 10, they will move up one step. If they paid out 12 to 16, they'll move two steps. 17 to 22, three steps. 23 or more, four steps up the stock market. So for this, well, it's not an example, is it? It's happening. Uh, they move up one space on the stock market, so their stock value is now 60 instead of 56. I think I've got all of that right. And I've earned myself a little bit, a tiny bit of cash from their runs. Okay, I think I've got all of that right. Redeem a share. There's a share available, you know, and I can't interact with here with this. So I think they will buy a share in themselves, and then hopefully all of this will work out. Uh, yes, they will buy a share in themselves, which costs 
62 pounds. They have still got a fair bit of cash, though. Well, I say a fair bit. They've got about 130 pounds left. They'll buy another share in themselves. Boost it up a bit. And I think that's it for them. So N and S is done. EUR is next. Lay an upgrade track. So EUR are the local company, aren't they? Yes. So they definitely... They can do an upgrade. But we, we definitely want this done. We definitely want this piece filled in. So that's going to be one... And unfortunately, oh, they could they could do this piece. It wouldn't really make much sense. Because we've already got a train going to there. It's just kind of... You've got limited builds in the game. So you don't really want to waste them. Let's, let's have them going there. I, th I think it's a waste. <laughs> or maybe, maybe we'll have this joining up later on to something useful. We could have it. If we do a really narrow one, maybe when we upgrade this station here, it can have an inlet for this. And this would be a useful bit of track. It won't be for now, but hopefully that'll be alright. So there, they've laid two pieces of track. No need to place a station marker, because they can't. Run their trains. So now let me get to my, uh, my cheat sheet, my reminder about local trains, so I don't forget all of the bits. There's a lot of bits. Right. So, local trains. You can see a bit in the symbols here. They care about large stations and small stations. The number, again, tells you how many large stations they can go to. They are not interested in the blue and red locations. They can't go to them. They are local trains for local people. They do get some extra money, though. So their route is basically going to go... They, they have to go through their home base, but I've got this lovely route here. This is only two large stations, so they can go along this massive route, but they've gone to loads of little uh, towns along the way. So before we work out their revenue, local trains only get a £10 subsidy from the bank for every hex their train went to. So their train went to one, two, three, four, five hexes. So the bank just gives them 50 quid. It sounds good to me. They've got a lot of money. They're going to need it. And yes, this does not count as their revenue, but it, you can spend it to uh, bolster your dividends in the George Hudson maneuver, which I haven't got into, have I? <laughs> maybe, maybe I should mention the George Hudson maneuver in this bit. So yes, they've done that. Their score is... Yeah, they, they couldn't go to more places. They score all of the locations on their run. So if an express train made this route, they would not have gotten that subsidy and they would score for the two large stations they visited. A local train, though, scores all of these places because they want to go to all of the little local bits. So they score 40, 60, 80, 120 pounds is their revenue. I keep saying score. They're a real train company, right? Okay, so they can decide now. Are they going to pay dividends or are they going to withhold it? I think they'll pay dividends. So they would pay out 12 per share. For me, I have three shares in them, so I'll get 36. It's not too shabby. They don't have a share in themselves yet, so they don't get anything. But they did get their £50 incentive, their uh, subsidy. And then on the stock market, so we can see they paid out 12. That's a double move. They can move right up. The George Hudson manoeuvre is a dodgy thing that companies can do. So their revenue was 120. And this is all based on like, this does tell you about the payout, but it's basically, what was their revenue? Was their revenue more than their company, up to double. Then they move one space up. Was their revenue double or more? They move two spaces up. Was their revenue triple their stock value or more? They move three spaces up. Was their revenue quadruple their stock value or more? They move four spaces up. That's what that's based on. 
So their revenue is 120. They could pay kind of 50 pounds, really. If their revenue had been 170, that would move them up three spaces instead of two. They could pay that 50 from their treasury in, in a dodgy way to make it seem like they were more profitable so they will move up the stock market more spaces. Is that something to do? Because then I could sell the shares for a little bit more. I don't think it is. I'll just move them there. Two good, honest steps. And that's that. So they've run their trains. We've seen how two of the three types work, and we've talked about freight trains a bit. So pay and withhold revenue. They've done it. Purchase trains. Are they going to need more trains? We can upgrade things next time. I didn't buy trains for NNS, but I don't think they're going... They can't afford one for a start. Uh, trains are £200 now. Maybe EUR would like one. Because they can, next time, if ECR upgrades their line here now, they can move along here. Yeah, EUR will buy a train. That's £200. And we are now in the B phase. I hope that's a good idea. So the B trains can go three large stations, but they will only score two of them. That's what this two stroke three means. They can move the distance of three, but you can only count two of them in your scoring. Large stations. All the little ones still count. Okay. So they bought a train, then redeem a share. EUR do have one available. And for them to buy one, it's par value, isn't it? Chartered companies who have not been part of a merger, it still costs par price. So it would be £58. It would be a lot of their money, but I think it's worth doing. So they get 42 back. They're going to get a share in themselves. Okay. And that is EUR. They're not going to acquire a company. Next up is ESR. Who haven't gone yet, have they? So ESR are starting out here in Ipswich. Their build has to be an N, just like uh, when EUR started. Uh, you haven't got a choice of which type this is, but we could maybe upgrade this later and let them go through. It's, it's harder upgrading these pieces, as we'll see as we go on. But we can get a piece that kind of like intersects that goes through in a funny way that might let a line go up through here to, say, dis. But you can't get one that, like, turns in on a little village one, because they don't want that in their way. So they go there. I have got their tokens. So we want an ESR station there. That's their whole build. They can't do anything else. But luckily, they can move a bit. They can't this round, because they haven't bought a train. But when they do get to moving, there is already track there. You share all of this stuff. So don't need to place any more station markers. Run their trains. They haven't got any. So they're going to have to withhold revenue, which moves them down a space on the share prices. Purchase trains. They'd better do because uh, what else are they going to do? That's £200 for a B train. Uh, redeem a share. There are no shares available anywhere. Have ECR been? Oh, they're, they're the last ones to go. Because, yeah, they could buy this share if they wanted it. That's it for ESR, then. They can't function because it's their first round. And finally, ECR are going to go. Not going to merge with another company just yet. They're going to... Oh, as their build. I was going to upgrade. But as their build, they could just expand to London straight away. So instead of laying any track or upgrading any track, you can put one of their tokens on London instead. And their destination can be London, which is quite a lucrative place to deliver to. And later on, we could maybe get bigger lines. I think that'd be a good thing to do. Yeah. So that's what ECR are doing. That's, that's your whole late stroke upgrade track bit. 
PlayStation Marker. They they could play PlayStation Marker on another place now, just so that they can have runs that go all the way through these places in case they get blocked up with other people's tokens. I need to bear that in mind, but I'm not going to do it just yet. Because they they probably want to go along here and get all the way to a port, but they're going to need a massive train to do that. That's loads of steps. They're, oh yeah, we want to try and turn in here, don't we? Like turn the N into, say, this tile so they can turn into Harwich at some point. And we want to upgrade this tile so that the local train can turn up here into Cambridge or somewhere. It's all for the future. ECR have just done that. Run their trains. They do have a train. So their freight train has got... Oh, we need uh, the different button. Has got a hex with a one in it. And I was saying earlier, I think this was uh, Edward of Heavy Cardboard's explanation for it. The number is basically the number of hex edges it can go through. It's The rules say the number of hexes, but the hex they start in doesn't count towards that. So they can start in their home here and deliver to London, deliver their freight from where they started to London. That seems like a really good thing to do. You want, like, as many things as possible. Like, you want as much distance as possible in freight, basically, but it's not possible early on, is it? So they, they generate revenue based on their distance. So at the start, that's not a lot of distance. You can choose the routes of entry if you want to. They ignore small stations, of course. If they, if you run multiple freight trains as well, they kind of have to form a convoy end to end. You can't have them um, kind of branching off. And there, there is a difference based on that that gets all complicated about if you've got trains that don't rust, then you don't need to do that. But if they And they can go through the same spaces and it's brilliant. But at the moment, all of our trains do rust. So they have to kind of go end to end. But the place where they meet counts towards both trains runs. So if they bought another train, freight on the B trains would let them go two. So you could have there and then they would go one, two. They wouldn't quite reach the port here, so I'll probably want to wait and buy a C for them. But anyway, they're running trains for now. So they're running trains from here to here, because you have to end up in London. They score the start tile value and the finish tile value, plus £20 for every hex in the middle. If you started in a port, you would get £30 for every hex in the middle. So if this could be, if we could get a train that could go this distance, you would make an absolute fortune. The track is already in place to do that. But the trains can't go that far yet. Maybe if we if we stacked them end to end, then it's possible. But I don't think we should buy another B just yet. I don't think they're going to have the money to buy all this stuff. So they're their winnings are 20 plus 100. That's 120 pounds. So I've got two ECR, so I'm going to get 24 pounds. Let's take one off and give me 25. They have an ECR, so they will earn 12 pounds. And in their stock value... So it was 12, wasn't it? They're going to move up two spaces. So their stock jumps a little bit as well. And that, so they can acquire. Now the next trains are going to cost 280. So I want to be a bit careful with this. They can sell shares though to afford their trains, which is something I forgot in my, uh, my learning game. Yeah, let's... There's probably going to be a downside to doing this too much. But they're going to buy a share in themselves. £58. Maybe the downside is that I'm using up all my 20s. I've got loads of 10s. So they've got two shares in themselves now. They moved up their two spaces. They're not going to acquire a company. And maybe we've got to think about merging and stuff, which honestly... 
<laughs> I kind of know how it works, but I've not done it because I don't know what a great time for that is. I'm drinking from Orlando today. Cold, cold tea. Right, we've done all of those. We were in phase A at the time, so we finished the round. This is where something else kicks in. These, um, these player order markers here were shuffled, honestly, even though they did come out one, two, three. You take the one, two, three markers, shuffle them up, and you see the order of these just the same as you see the order of the freight. The Yorkshiremen, the, the bot kind of, are going to discard that many trains out of the game. So a B train is gone. We've still got several, we've still got three more B trains to go. <laughs> yeah, it, it's like, I think 18xx is like this, right? That's, there's a lot of numbers and it is functional. But yeah, they, they've got a look to them, haven't they? Hey, Rohit, this is probably the most difficult stream to walk into the middle of. There's been so much, like, I've really, pl I've played about two rounds of this, I think, in this playthrough, of course. Uh, and yeah, <laughs> loads of it is just explaining loads of stuff, trying to decide things. Yeah, I, I hope some of it makes sense, though. So we, we are in phase B now, though. So people can upgrade to green. We get two rounds next next round. So one B train went. And we are in a stock round again. I have pretty sure not enough to start a company. 40, 60, 70, 80, 93 pounds. And the minimum we saw last time was 162 pounds to start a company. So I could sell something though. My my shares have improved. And I can always have the company sell a share to be able to afford a train. And then I buy it back cheap because you can buy the shares for the par price. What happens when the company sell a share? Where does it go? I know that is like a, a strategy that you can do. They sell them if they have enough share certificates to buy a train, they can sell them to buy a train. Oh, that's if they're forced to buy a train. So you probably don't want them all to be forced to buy a train. They're paid full stock market price. But then they're put in the bank pool. A non-chartered company can use share certificates on top of a column as if they were in their charter. So it can buy its share things back later. So that's not too bad. So yeah, EUR can get quite lucrative, can't it? I should probably sell something and start a new company. What can I do down here? So I and B is out of the game. I can get rid of that with no worries at all. We can uncover a new, another ESR. We should do that. That can go down there. A lot of L and H available. Just not in a brilliant place. It's kind of far away. What would the next train be? Local. We would want actually NGC, E and H. NGC would be perfect because that could just loop around here, upgrade this so it can accept a connection, and then that's brilliant for both local trains. What does NGC look like? Has it even come out? NGC. It's very unlucky if it hasn't. Oh, there. There's one. But yeah, by filling in columns... We potentially remove companies from the game. If there's any ECR there they could have bought. I could buy it and get some more value in the company. N and B aren't out of the game. Just thinking that would actually be really great as a as a local railway. 
but it's it's just a bit there's only one share certificate out and this massive stack of share certificates they might not be coming out this game just that they're in the way otherwise N and B is more doable, isn't it? There's an N and B. There's one. There's one. We could put that there. Is this all on the screen? I can't really do anything with that Y and N. But I could take them out of the game. Where's WVR? Have I moved? I've I've gone over there space, haven't I? WVR is here. Oh, so they, they would be even better, wouldn't they, as the local company? Because they're a great local thing is already built in for them. Yeah, WVR, and I can get three of their stocks. Yeah, let's move over that WNR there. Boom, that's three WVRs ready. Now, how much money do I need? I need 162, and I've got... 60, 80, 93. So I need... I need to sell two shares, unfortunately. If, as long as you've got two shares, you've got control of the company. And I could buy... I don't want to sell any ECR then. I could get more later. There's more NNS there that I could get in the future. What if I sold an N and S? I would get sixty pounds. It zigzags down to fifty-eight. And yeah, I'm not. I'm not too sure if like you should desperately push like this to get the companies rolling. I'm just doing it. So that goes in there because I've sold it. E U R or E S R? I think E S R are going to be the less. Although their train can move more, can't it? They're freight, so their train should be up the other way. They can move an extra space. And if we upgrade this N and build something here... That's pretty decent. EU are already earning good money, though. We'll bring ESR down one. So I get £50 for them. So now, could I afford, for say, to start the company a bit better? Can I have like 186? Yeah. I'm going to start them here. So I'm going to buy those three WVRs and float this company. I can start them at £62. I'm not putting my uh, my poker chips away properly, so they're just all piling up everywhere. I feel like... <laughs> whatever's happening, like... Companies are being started. Companies are... in action right now, aren't they? Like, these can be brought right down. Because, yeah, er earlier than maybe I'd anticipated. I've got five companies going. What's this? WVR? Where are you? Maybe I should make these non-chartered. Although, there are a couple more WVRs out there. Um, Non-chartered companies get dividends from their shares being out in the display rather than them owning them. Where's WVR? It's not stuck to a company that I've already brought out, is it? I can't find their sheet. FDR, SVR. So many initials. Not stuck to one of these, is it? It's a, it's a hiccup for the playthrough, isn't it? <laughs> a company is just accidentally doesn't exist. 
I don't think I started WVR yesterday. What if it's just not in the game? <laughs> yeah, I think uh, my head is definitely going to be in that number puddle by the end. Or well, it's apparently going to be in a puddle of wondering what's happened to whatever WVR stands for. The Waveney Valley Railway. Have they gotten caught up in the excitement of it all? And just bolted? I don't know what I'm looking around for. The, the, the game is in front of me. But I'm sure it hasn't got any more things. Let me just check the box. Bear with me. Got them. Panic over. They were the four companies that got taken out at the start of my practice game. <laughs> yeah, the, <laughs> it is weird that, like, this is 18xx games, isn't it? But, yeah, I, I don't think there is another playthrough where, <laughs> if you don't know what I'm talking about, I'm just saying letters over and over again. <laughs> I'm just saying combinations of letters and numbers repeatedly. And it, uh, like I said earlier on, it kind of makes sense to me. Kind of. Like, I don't know that anything I'm doing here is good or right, but it's happening. So they started at 62. I hope rules-wise rules -wise, it's right. It's my big hope. Or, so they start with 620 minus 180, it's going to be 440. And that's another company bought and started. Do I want to do anything else in the stock phase? I probably want to get rid of FDR, they're not in the game. N and B could all pile up all nicely. It does, the downside of this for L and H is, if I ever want to start L and H, I have to buy all of these shares, I think, in one big go. There's an, an N and S uncovered. I and B aren't in the game. N and E aren't in the game. SVR aren't in the game. They probably should be in the game, though, because almost all their stocks are out. But we could actually, like... Here's the solitaire element of the game. I mean, like, the, the patient's solitaire. Where's that WVR gone? Was there never... A, oh. Wait a minute, yeah. I can do this. Then there's L and H. Can go on that massive stack of them. And then WVR is available. And, like, the company could buy that. NNS is waiting. Can't do anything with that. I could remove it from the game. Because I don't know if that's going to come in. So we've got kind of an orderly thing here. We do, we do want more shares of the things that we're bothered about. I could get rid of WNR from the game, and then there's an ESR that could be purchased. So they've got a share in themselves. Yeah, let's take WNR out of the game. So, WNR's gone. And that should probably do it, right? I can't move anything else about. I think that's okay. We'll be all right. I can't afford any more shares without selling others and I don't want to just yet. So we're in phase B. We have two operating rounds before another stock round. And we begin. Have I put WVR on the stock market? I have not. They should be on 62 underneath any companies already there. So EUR starts us off. The local railway, isn't it? So they have two trains now. They have not gotten anywhere better. To, although this is how they get better things to, to move, isn't it? 
this is the point at which they do things. If we upgrade this tile, so we can now upgrade to green. That's what phase B allows us. <laughs> we have had a total breakdown. What was W-O-O? Oh, without oxygen, yeah. Right, so the tiles... I can have, like... I don't want that tile out. I want... It's not a Y, so I can't have one of those. I don't want an X. Oh, I do want an X tile. There we go. That would sort it out, wouldn't it? That X would be just what I wanted. They will upgrade this yellow into a green. So that stays where it is. And they probably... If they put a station on it, it means that later on, WVR isn't going to be able to go through this. They can cross trains over here, but that's probably what they would do anyway. We could just leave it open. They don't really need a station there. The space is safe. Yeah, we'll, we'll leave that open. So that was their build, that one upgrade. They have two trains then that can move two stations and then a three. And they just ignore the... So that's not really going to get them any more money. So they can have their, we'll zoom in a little bit here. So there's their two large stations going in this little U here. And then their three train can go all the way over here, but it doesn't really matter. They might as well be another two train because they have to ignore one of the stations and we wouldn't choose the, f although the 40 can't be scored again, can it? One train's already going through the 40. So there we go. They will ignore that train, that station. So we will score every one of these tiles. So first of all, Let's make sure we've got... You're running your trains properly. So every hex visited by its local trains in total is the subsidy. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight tiles means an £80 subsidy for EUR. So they're actually... They're building up some decent cash, you know. They still need a lot more, but they've got 172 that's all right. Then it's just ev it's everywhere they went through, isn't it? So 30, 50, 90, 110, 130, 150, 170, 190 for EUR. So they've jumped by buying that extra train and having a bit more track. So 190. I have three shares. So I am going to get 57. Give that in so I can have 62. They have a share in themselves, so they also earn 19. And looking at their share price, so EUR, they just paid out 19. So that is triple. That is a triple movement, everyone. One, two, three. Maybe it's time to sell theirs next time. Get 82 for it. I'm glad I held on to it. Right. So, acquiring shares. There isn't any UR available. Acquiring companies. I don't think we're quite there yet. They could buy another train. What would they really do with it until some more stuff's constructed? They've got... What have they got? £191. So they couldn't afford another train anyway. So they'll, they'll hold off from that. Next up is... So let's just put my things to say. We, we've activated them. Next up is WVR. So they haven't activated at all yet, I don't think. So their first thing has to be to build. If there's no space for them here, they need to upgrade on their turn. That has to be their build. But it means we can have kind of more branching things now. Like, say, no, that wouldn't be the one to have. Like that. And so now, local trains could go up to Chroma here. Oh, I'm glad I haven't taken ENR out. I was thinking about that earlier on. Uh, so yes, that's been upgraded as their turn. 
and WVR, their home station, comes in there. What are the other steps? So they've built, can't place any more station. They don't need to place any more station markers. Run their trains. They haven't got any. Can't do any revenue, so they move down the stock market track. Purchase trains. They're going to have to buy a train. And they could buy a couple, really. To be in a similar position. To, um, to EUR. And in the same amount of money. Then we would be straight into the seas, though, and everyone would lose their A train. Two trains are getting discarded. Everyone's going to lose their A trains. Oh, dear. So if that's happening... No, they'll buy one train. They'll buy one train. Redeem a share. They will buy this WVR. At £62. So they get what back 20 35 6 it's just tokens everywhere off camera now so they've got a share in themselves and that's it for wvr so they've been then ecr are here maybe companies should merge with each other at this point again Tell me in the comments if uh, if you're a 1862 aficionado, and I should have merged at some point. Their train is on the way out, so maybe maybe they need to buy a new train. They might need to withhold. Right. And if they withhold, their stock price will go down, and I can buy a share for a bit cheaper, right? Although I think you buy them at par value. So first of all, lay an upgrade track for their freight. If they buy a train. It's still only going to be a two, which is all right. I think they want to upgrade this end, don't they? We could maybe have them building for the local trains, like around here. That would be an idea. So, you know, cooperate in that way. But I think... So we can get them to a port, they're going to upgrade this N. So the N has to turn into this. Oh, look at that. Beautiful. So next time, they can build to Harwich, and if they get a good enough freight train, so they would need a one, two, three, four to do this route, but that would be kind of lucrative. And once we're into the seas, that's, that's some big money. Right. That's their build then. Don't need to place a station marker... I think. They're more likely to want station markers so that they can go... Th like, if they wanted to go from this port, they can't really. There's not really space for them. i think about that later on. So, run their trains. So they only have the one train still, so it's going to be the same as before. It's going to be another 120. That's the most lucrative thing they can do. Yep, yeah, so I've got two. So I get 24. Oh, our stickers are coming off. And then they've got two. So they get 24. And... Oh, they did pay dividends. Maybe they should have kept that 120. So can they afford a train? What have they got? 100... 2040. No, they can buy a train. They've got 200. Uh, so they paid out 12 to everyone. Which is actually two steps. That's not bad. They ran their trains. They paid revenue. They can purchase a train for 200. So they've got a B train now. They'll let them go a bit further. Yeah, the next train is only going to be a three. It's not worth waiting. It's not going to be a four next time. So they've paid their money. Redeem a share. I kind of want that for me, I think. If they're going to be worth more later on. Could leave that out for myself. And buy it when they're... 
a bit better kind of thing. What do I pay? Not starting a company, just buying more shares. Because in a chartered company, you pay the bank for a par price. Yeah, so I want their things to go up because me buying these chartered company shares only ever cost their starting price. So if they're doing well, that's great for me. If more EUR come out, I want to buy them. So I want to make more EUR come out. Okay. So that is... ECR done. Next. N and S. Go. So they are the express train that's not really doing a lot. But they've got two trains now. They don't really need to build more, so why don't we have them contribute to this network? So we want a Y built here. So we can have this port in action at some point. And they can build another thing. Let's... We just want a straight one, don't we? Let's get some local stations involved for the local companies for the future. That's their two builds. And... Oh, he's got to keep scrolling the play road back to the bottom. They've done their track. They don't need to play station marker. Run their trains. So they've got two express trains. And so, did they run last time? They must have, but I feel like I skipped them. There'll be a subtitle or something. Well, it won't be a subtitle because it's going to be a ridiculously long live video. It's going to be the same as last time though, isn't it? It's just going to be £100. So we're still in phase B. So the value of this doesn't go up. Would they be better off going here and then here? Well, it's, it's the same. It's still 60. Until your trains can move more. Maybe it wasn't worth buying two expresses. So they're still going to have £100. So they pay me 20 in dividends. They pay themselves 20 in dividends. And run trains. They've paid their revenue. It was... 10 so they go up one space maybe they should withhold yeah they can't afford actually i'm going to have them withhold and they will go down a space but then they get the hundred pounds oh, if they wait they could buy a better train but they won't be able to afford a better train they will buy with their 200 pounds now a b train because their a's are going to rust in a minute if one of us buys a c train or if the Bot discards two and gets us to the C's. Yeah, they'll buy a B train, so they've got something for next round. Because there's not going to be stock in the middle of this. So they withheld. I didn't get anything from them. That's NS, that's NS done. So it's just ESR. This, this, <laughs> it's a, such a black. Uh, ESR. Yes, e ECR is the last company to go, aren't they? And they've got two trains now. No, e ESR. These. Oh, the new freight company, yes. I remember you. You're all the way up here. Has WVR been? Oh yeah, they just bought a train. Ignore me. ESR. They're a freight company. They couldn't go last time because they didn't have anything. And then I sold one of their shares. They're in a terrible state. They can only move two tile gaps. So it doesn't really get them anywhere. So they're just going to have to go. I think the most lucrative is the best cities are here. Oh, they haven't done any building yet. We probably want to get them in... London too. Yeah. They can't reach it yet, though, because they have to go from their starting space, and one, two tile edges just gets them here. So 
So what would that be? That would be 70 plus the 20 in the middle. It would be better to just do this tiny root here because the end would be 100. So that would be better than 90. Because they can't quite start in the port and reach their home yet. So yeah, that would be the best thing to do, I think. Get 100. They're on the board, though. And that will give them a double step. If they got a better train, they would be able to reach the port. They'd need £280, though. Which they're not going to get from withholding £100. But coming from a port will be good, too. And they haven't got a share in themselves to sell either. What if they... They've only got £160. They're so close to getting another one. They would have to withhold like a couple of times though, wouldn't they? They don't need another one yet, but they... Well, they do kind of. They need a better train than what they've got, essentially. We want them to go through one, two... Oh, three tile edges would be fine, wouldn't it? That would get them to London, though, from their home. It's not a port yet, but then they're in London. There is something that you can do of refinance... But that's if you've got no trains you can refinance. They might just, they, they might just have to earn nothing until they can afford a train for 280 they will withhold, so they'll move down on the stock market and they'll keep the £100 for themselves. Because there is another stock, there is another operation phase before the stock. Hey, Rachel. Oh, it's set where you live. Oh, brilliant. I hope <laughs> not destroying it too much. Oh, thanks, Rohit. Thanks for, thanks for trying <laughs> to, to catch up with it, though. Uh, this, this, more than any other playthrough I've ever done, is uh, a bit of a baffling one to, well, yeah, don't even need anything onto that. But especially coming in in the middle of it. It's numbers and initials at this point. Yeah, they, they will keep that money and they go down. They won't buy a share? No, I'm pretty sure they're not buying a share. So there is it. That's it for Operation Round 1. Operation Round the next. Oh, we need to discard two trains. So we are officially in Phase C. And, um, what does this mean for, so I need to not buy a train, and then they will discard three. What happens when the first D is bought? I know that's the trigger for the end of the game, but just in terms of how many rounds have I got after that. End of the game, see, see game end below, thank you. I'm looking. Uh, for, yes. So, f f the OR set, following the sale of the first D train. After the LNER is formed, <laughs> perform one more stock round and three more OR. So... If nobody buys a train here, I think everyone can get by with not buying a train. If nobody buys a train here, we have a stock round, and then... How many phases are there still? There's still just two. We go into this set of operating phases, somebody buys the D-train, or it's discarded by the AI, but then we get... The rest of the set, one more stock round, 
and one more set of three rounds, I think. And then some things a bit a bit different after there were some rule changes for those last rounds. But I think that's the way to maximise it. Nobody buy a train at this point. But then the trains they are able to buy are going to be expensive. Okay, another set of operating rounds. EUR is up first. And I think that nothing has changed since last time. They can they can build track though, so maybe it is going to have changed. Yeah, because they can build. They've got their two builds. They could go up that way, but this one's started. Where are they? EUR? Yeah. One here. And then the two, three stations, but ignore one. They could just ignore this one on the end here. Like, I don't know if we'll go to Cambridge. Or... Eli? Ellie? I'm not really sure which way that should point, but I'll have it there. Because, yeah, they, they can actually do a massive route along here with their two little trains. <laughs> no, their A train's rusted, so they can't. It is set up for later when they can buy better trains, but I need to remember everyone's A train has rusted. So they're all gone. So the best one they can do is big route but ignore one of the stations it's just this isn't it so it's 50 pound subsidy so they want to buy a new train as soon as possible but to try and get the most rounds they don't so they get 50 subsidy and then the total value is 80 150 so slid down a bit. They will do that dodgy manoeuvre and put £20 in to make it look like their profits were 170 So they can go two spaces up instead of one. But their actual thing was 150 so I get 45 out of that. And they get 15. Unless they're withholding. But no, they're not going to withhold. So they've almost made that back. Are they going to have enough money though for... They could withhold next time, couldn't they? So how much is a D train? 360. Ouch. Ouch. Maybe they don't do that then. Maybe we don't get our things and they don't spend that 20. But these things are supposed to be <laughs> going up the stocks and being worth money. But to be worth more money and get, doing better routes, they need better trains. This is the kind of the, the hurdle I got to uh, yesterday when I was playing. They can recover from operating this more next time. They'll keep the 150. So they slide down one in the hopes that they can buy a train next time. But I want the 45 because I'm. it's a stock round next and I'm going to want to buy things. But no, we'll have them withhold. So EUR are done. ECR is next. They want to come from a port, really. Oh, and they can now. They haven't got a train that allows it. But that's all fine. I think... We might... Upgrade this N. Just so it's worth a bit more money for trains going to and from it. Maybe we'll get more routes later, but I doubt it. Yeah, I'm not really sure what to do. We could just be building up here for the local trains. I'll do that for now. So ECR, yes. They can they can go through two track ends, so it's going to be these. So the endings. We're in the C phase now, so it's 150 plus 60. 210, 
and then there's 20 in the middle. So that is all of a sudden worth £230. They want a better train, though. Is everyone just going to withhold on me? Now, surely they want to withhold next time. Everyone should just keep. You want the trains as soon as possible, but there's a stock round next time where I want to buy a load of stocks. So I don't want to leave myself with no dividends and no money. Just, I want them all to withhold so that they can afford trains. And £230 wouldn't even get him close, is the sad thing. No, they're going to pay. They're going to pay out. So I get 46 They get 46 as well. I don't know if this is the right way around to do it. And so they paid out 23. We're looking at the stock market. 23 puts them three spaces up. So I can't sell one actually because... I've only got two and I would lose control of the company. Or it would go into receivership. So, uh, yeah. It is worth more now, though. And the, the stocks that I have will end up worth that. Okay. They're not going to buy another stock in themselves. They're going to hang on to their money. And, yeah, that is them done. So EUR have already been. WVR is next. Hey, Mark, yeah. <laughs> a lot of numbers and a lot of uh, a lot of train thoughts. Hey, Sean. Oh, thanks for thanks for joining me. I'm glad you decided to. You flamed out the first time. I can see why. <laughs> I am enjoying it. But yeah, there, there is whoa, so much going on, and I've still kind of got no clue if anything I've done has been strategically sound. But hey, we, we're we're getting there. So WVR. Are having their go. What's the order of things? You've said it a million times. We don't know it. And yeah, this would be a bit as well. I'm hoping. Hey, Sam, as well. I hope I'd do you proud. There's a bit as well where someone more strategically sound with the game would like merge companies. You kind of lose half your stocks, but their share price, it's kind of the lower one's share price plus half of the higher one's share price. So they would like jump right up. So having, I imagine merging things that are quite close like EUR and ECR would be a good thing to do. They would, they get their trains together. They get their permits together so they can do both things. But yeah. I don't really know the strategy of when to do that. So we are just operating things right now. So WVR can go to three stations and ignore the cost, ignore the rewards from one of them. So they can go one, two, three stations like that. They're going to have to ignore 130. Is that the best thing to do? Yeah, they need to go from here, whereas EUR didn't. They could just go from... I hope they did the same thing as well. So they can go here, which is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seventy pound subsidy for going through so many tiles. And they have to ignore one station, but that's going to be 20, 40, 60, 120, 140, 170. Oh, I think I've I've just upgraded something, haven't I? Maybe that's it. Just wondering why you are only got 150. Maybe I did it wrong. So they have revenue of 170. They're not going to hang on to it. They do have a share in themselves. I have three, so I want them. So what's that going to be? That's 51 for me. I might not actually have to sell anything this round. And they get 17. I 
be like, do they, they want to withhold and get a trade? They're, they're not really low, are they? Everyone withhold next time when there isn't a stock round. But then we're wasting time. It'll be fine. They're not withholding. They generated 170. 17 puts them two spots up. Do they want to spend Ted and pretend their profits were higher so they go up three spaces? They do. In case I want to sell one of their stocks. Make it worth a lot more. The George uh, Hudson maneuver. So that's WVR gone. NNS is next. Oh, they're that express <laughs> that's never really done anything <laughs> with their job. So they can go from here. One, two, three stations, and they have to ignore one. Oh, no, it's, that's one, two, three, isn't it? They can do one, two, three. But it's the same difference. I think we worked this out last time. There's their big thing. So they get 90, 120 now. Maybe they'll withhold and get another train because they can't really move very much like this. What have they got? No money either. Well, they could sell their shares next time if their shares are worth more. Their shares aren't going to be worth enough, though. And they're, they're not going to be able to do that because they will have a train. If I'd just let their A trains rusted and I hadn't bought that B train, maybe it would have been better for them. But it didn't. So what have they earned? 120. Yeah, I've put their marker on there. That would move them up a couple of spaces, but I can't sell their shares anyway. They will withhold. And if that seems a bit arbitrary, <laughs> it is. It would only be earning me £24 anyway. Hey, Paul. How's it going? <laughs> I am... Um... I feel quite uh, brave. Well, I feel quite foolish now. I think we're doing all right, though. If I get more than 2,375, I've done better than last time. I've not come close to winning, but... Hey, it's baby steps. So N and S have run their trains. They've done that. They do move up two... Sp oh, no, they withheld. I've already moved them down one, I think. Yep. None of the companies have done anything really decent, though, since the A-Trains went away. Which I think was only a turn ago. Don't be so hard on yourself. Uh, NNS. Done. ESR are the last company in it. And they are very low down. They withheld, didn't they? Yeah, they're a freight company that can only go two steps. They can go to... Oh, no, they can't, they can't reach London because it's too far away. They can't reach a port and they can't reach London. Is their problem. So, yeah, they're, they can earn 120 now. Rather than the hundred of last time. Which would move them up three steps. I can't sell stock in them anyway, though. They're going to withhold as well. And I'd need to be careful because they're not <laughs> far off bankruptcy. But hopefully, they can. as soon as they get that second train, they are going to be zooming up. And they can nearly afford it. Can they afford it? How much is it? 360. They can afford it. They're not going to buy it yet because we're doing our trickery. So that's it. That's that operating round. The end of it, three trains get discarded. That's all of the Cs. We are not in phase D yet because that only happens when a D train is bought. And that will trigger the end of the game, which is why we're holding off. Hey, Bart. Oh, thanks. I'm glad you enjoy them. I hope that... This ends up making some semblance of sense. Right. In the stock round. I have... How much money do I have? Let's lay it all out. Not a lot. I have... 190? 195. It's enough to start the last company. What should that last company be? Um, the last company is going to be an express company. And the trains will go to like... 
four stations and score them all. And I could start a company quite cheap and get all of these stocks of like LNH. I don't think that's possible. How many stocks are there? Six stocks. I would need at least 300 and odd to buy all of those. And they would come in at a really low value. But what about, what, where would LNH be? Miles away. Don't think about them. Buying another ECR would be nice. If I can afford it. I don't think I can unless I sell something. So E and H aren't a million miles away. Y and N. Maybe that's the thing to do. Upgrade that station. You want it going through these 60s, really. N and B would be nice. Upgrade this so they can just come through. Well, this would be one, two... Three, four. Yeah, four is not quite enough to get to these lovely places as an express train. Maybe ENR. It'd be more track to build, but you wouldn't need to upgrade anything. And it is a port if anyone... Although Y and N is already a port. One, two, three, four. That's a hundred. Denmark's cut off, unfortunately. So anything's got to go through its home, hasn't it? So we could just... Hey, Joel. Oh, thanks for the Patreon bot. Yes, everyone, if you'd like to... <laughs> if you'd like to help support me in my recovery <laughs> from an 18xx go, patreon.com forward slash slicker drips. Um, and they could just end up in London. Like, you could just have, say, E and H starts. One, two, three. London is your fourth. Upgrade this. Because I've, I've put it in the wrong direction, basically. I could have, like... I can use another company's upgrade to do it, but really, I would let myself swap it for a different shape track, because it makes no difference. But I won't. I'll upgrade and do it. And it'll make the track a bit more valuable. I'm going to buy E and H then. So E and H. At its cheapest point. Is what? 162. I have had to calculate that. Every single time. So I get three change. And so, we're going to have no room for this. What's coming into the game? E and H. E and H. Still so many companies to go through. Here we go. They're going to have to go kind of invisible over here. They are an express train company. They are... Being chartered as well, because they might as well all be chartered at this point. So, I've paid 54 each. I'm going to need some more tokens. I'm glad I have not yet dropped this everywhere. E and H are here. I was saying earlier, there's, there's like a lovely... I forget the website, I'm sure it's in the BGG forums, but there's a lovely upgrade kit available from a European company that gives you trays for all those tokens for all these, and they fit in the box, unlike that one that I just pulled out. 
they're just going to have to go into a bag when I actually bag the game up, which, yeah, terrifies me. Just a million tokens floating around in a bag. I suppose you could put each one in a bag, but then there's a million bags floating around. And you can also buy an upgrade kit from the same place that makes these things wooden. Okay. So they are being chartered. They have been started for not very much money again. Why don't I just start them for more money and I buy these leftover shares when I've got more money in the next stock phase because I can buy them at the par value. That makes sense, brain. Good idea. So for three shares, I have 33. So for 32... I could have them. I could spend 10 more on them. I can't spend 10 more, but I can spend 8 more. So let's spend another £24. And then they can come in at 62 instead of 54. That way the company gets... 620 minus their 180 is 440. And yeah, we'll, we'll do the actual wheeling and dealing that gets me things in the last stock phase, which will be the next stock phase. Ooh. They get that. They've had their things. Right. We should do some wheeler dealing here then, because there's, there's no more companies to come into the game. I also need to shuffle the player order things and um, see what's coming out. So it'll make a difference to probably whether a company can ever afford to buy a train again. One, two, three. Again? What? It was one, two, three last time. Right. So I don't care about a load of these being out of the game now, do I? Because that's all of my companies. So there is no downside of other companies. Well, I suppose their spaces being blocked off on the map might make a difference. Maybe. I would prefer ENR not to go out of the game. But I want these columns filled, so it has to be a random draw. I realise I haven't taken any of the other companies I actually started out of this deck. So if they come up, like ESR, they shouldn't be in the deck because I started them. Nor should WVR. Hey, this would be terrible luck, wouldn't it, if I was actually drawing these? So N and B are out of the game. Uh, let's cover up their spot on the map. N and B. Mm, yeah, that does kind of... No, I could, uh, no, it's not too bad, really, is it? Because local can still go up here. ENR is the good one to stay in, really. Although, if even if ENR goes out, they can go to Norwich. It's just Norwich is a bigger build because it's an N. Hey, Dragonox. <laughs> it is a tough rule book to read. Especially, I have not played another 18xx. It was uh, a whole new world. Yeah, but there are, there are great play raids available. And I'm sure if you have played other 18xx games, it makes more sense. But I haven't, as I said. Uh, yeah, I hope, I hope the playthrough works out. There was a lot a lot of explanation and talking through everything uh, at the beginning of it, as you might expect. Hi, Michael. As I said, I've never played any others. But I, I don't feel like I would enjoy the multiplayer. I know that they thrive on that, and that this is a kind of... It's an anomaly, right? That it works so, because not a lot do. A few more do. I forget what the list uh, is. I am filling in a... I just have to go through a about 10 leaps back of... What was I doing? You don't give my brain a second to think about other things. L&D? Is that the first L&D that's come out this game? What do you think you're doing, L&D? So, Whistle is out already. I basically want to just line these up right with stocks... Get as much money as I can in the next two operating rounds. Yeah, because we're not in D yet, because no one's bought a train. There's going to be two operating rounds in which either I or the bot will buy a D train and trigger the end of the game. So then we play that through, have a stock round, and then have three operating rounds, and then that's it, I think. So I want to try and get this so that, like, yeah, L, L and D, you're out of the game. Sorry. But it's the way it has to be. Because there's no penalty other than the company is now out of the game. They're already out of the game. 
Um, <laughs> I've run out of space here. Let's face it, are we ever going to need to go this far down in the revenue track with me playing? They're already out of the game. They're already out of the game. E and H, I just put into the game, didn't I? So I've got another stock for them I could buy in the future. ECR are in the game. L and H, I don't think we'd miss. Just thinking of like freeing up more columns. Are N, N and B are out of the game, aren't they? We just did that, yeah. N and B are out of the game, so there's a column freed up. So we have to remove a company from the game. L and D are already out, so they shouldn't be in that thing. ENR. Is it, it's the one we said would be a shame, but it wouldn't be too terrible. They're out of the game now. I can fill in another column. ECR, I like. The only downside of stacking too many up would be not being able to afford to buy them all in one go. So, L and E can go together. L and D aren't in the game. NGC can go together. ESR can go together. FDR aren't in the game. ECR can line up. And then there is another column. Let's get another company out of the game. Oh, I took them out of the game. They're already out. WNR, I think I took out of the game. Yep, yeah, I took them out. NGC, sorry. You're out of the game. Where are they? <laughs> I've done a bad thing. Okay. We can't take it back. But a very bad decision has been made. And I hold you all responsible. No, I've uh, I've messed up. So, this is why you might want... Who was I building this for? Which railway? It was for one of the locals, wasn't it? Probably EUR, because they're doing dead well. Yeah, I'm going to do a take back, because... Well, not a take back. I'm going to imagine a more intelligent player playing, and this is why you place these train stations. You don't want to place them on things that you know are in the game or tracks you don't want to kind of block yourself off from. But basically, what happens without this... Hey, I'm, I'm an 18xx baby. I'm on the easiest mode available. I'm having this. Uh, what would not happen now? There is no kind of stake in this, so this goes away. Uh, because I let that company go out of the game, which I forgot because that's been covered up by a bit of track that no one's taken hold of. But because it's got, if it has someone's train station on it, that does mean that anyone else using this run has to kind of intersect at this point. Can't have a run just going way through it. But we are going to upgrade this anyway, so we can have another thing in if someone else wants to come through, like E&H will want to come through. So I think we can do that. Well, we can't do that by the rules, but uh, yeah, I, th I think trains will be able to come in there, allowing myself that, which, yeah, uh, I'll be honest, like, I'm making an excuse for myself, but I'm not bothered. <laughs> like, th there are no league tables for this. There is no prize for me doing well. Uh, I'm just getting rid of them NGCs, but I need to fill in a another column, don't I? I did not get to this stage in my practice game of, um, and probably should have, like, I never got to six companies, though. I think I got to four, maybe? But, um... Yeah, it's it's a good place to get to, isn't it? They're out of the game. They're out of the game. They're in the game. And I could buy a few of them now. N and D are out of the game. W and F are out of the game. Is anything else going to mess me up? There's no more stations with no track tokens. That's what you should be looking out for. So the things that would get blocked off, it's not going to be E and H because I've put them in the game. It's going to be one of these three. E and H. Oh yeah, I bought E and H. They shouldn't be in there. L and H. That's not too terrible. It, it blocks off Kings Lynn. Which, yeah, I th the people of Kings Lynn might have something to say about it. But, hey, for now. So that fills in another column. So can I not fill in more columns when I can't remove companies from the game? 
What happens then? You must first put a random company out of the game. So I assume I can't do the action if I can't do that. How do people... I saw people in the forums saying that they go through the entire deck. How do they do that then? <laughs> yeah, Paul, take back. I am on baby mode. I started off with 50 extra pounds. I have one more column of these uh, to play with. Uh, so you're out of the game. You're out of the game. I like NNS being available. This is maybe a bit too much ESR in one go. Being available. You're out of the game. Somehow you're not out of the game. You're about to be, though. L and H is already out, so we can clear that off. It's just that yeah, these columns don't actually have anything uh, usable in them. I and B's been out since the start. FDR's been out since the start. I took them out ages ago. ENR aren't in the game either. ECR are... L and D are in the game. And they're, they're covering up a WVR I might want to get to at some point. Yeah, let, let me know in the comments what happens when there's none of these companies left to remove from the game. Y and N are going out. So I can deal a new column for myself. Yeah, you just deal six into a column. Or are you just allowed to do it willy-nilly if you've removed all the other companies out of the game? Charter companies must float. My player aid doesn't tell me. Does the... The solo rules are a little PDF sheet. Uh, not, not a PDF. A little uh, A4 sheet. Deal six cards. You must put a company at random out of the game. If you have to put a company out of the game, do the following, yeah. It doesn't say what if there are no companies left to put out of the game, so I... yeah. My gut would say there's uh, you can't do the action then because it says you must first put a company out of the game but I haven't looked into that so we're still patiencing we've got one more well yeah let's let's put L and D out of the game because we start can't start another company anyway and fill in this column of things that don't help oh I know how they do it because. And I haven't been doing this the entire game. When you fill in these new columns, if companies have already been taken out of the game, you don't put their cards out. That's how they do it. Their cards just go straight to the bank pool. Yeah, so basically, only, only cards now for companies I have in the game will come out. Ah, oh. okay, well, I, c I can't really fix that. I can fix it for the row that I just dealt myself. So I was thinking, like, that people definitely said they went through the whole deck. How did they do that? Here's how. Five. Oh, six. And then this one here should only have ECR in it. The rest are out of the game, so we're in a slightly wrong order here, but yeah, we've lost a, a lot of share buying potential, I think, from that. I don't know how much difference it would have actually made score-wise. So we might have actually seen a lot of these cards already. And any that we haven't seen, we can just remove from the game now, right? NNB we don't own, no. Okay, so yeah, we, we must be seeing all of the shares here in some configuration or another. So later on when we buy these, it's just cards everywhere now. All kind of organized as well. I will say these aren't really cards. I assume in the normal multiplayer game, these are stock certificates and I assume not things to be shuffled. And so the components don't really feel like they're made to be shuffled either. These are not, well, they are cards, aren't they really? But they're quite, they're, they're surprisingly thick uh, cards. I don't know as if that's going to give you an impression of how thick the card is. Uh, you can't really shuffle them. 
Uh, you, can't, you can't riffle shuffle them very easily with more than a few in a pile. Yeah, it's 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 annoying. But there is actually. I, do, I always want to try and show off the components for these, but there is. Uh, and someone's made an electronic one. An electronic tableau. So you don't need to have all of this shuffling. Yeah, we just leave it like that. So that's all available for us to buy in the last stock round. Oh, how long have I been doing that for? So the only stocks that people can actually buy of companies that matter, the companies can buy stocks in these two. And let's just empty the bank pool out of everything else. Okay. I think that's my stock round. Two operating rounds, starting with... ECR. So. It is three hour cold tea now, but <laughs> I'm really thirsty. So yeah, merging companies should probably be the thing to do. But I, yeah, I'm, I'm not sure on that. So lay an upgrade track. Are they going to buy a tra They've got no money at all. What have I been doing? I want them to buy a train, don't I? So they can still only go two spots. So it's going to be... 230 still. Yeah, they can't do anything better with the position that they're in. Can't do better than London. So... 230 is their thing. And they probably want to withhold it two more times to buy a better train. Do these trains rust? They do. They're still rusty trains. If they wait, the bot's going to discard them so slowly, though. Because if they don't rust, then they can run them on the exact same spaces. But we're not going to get to that point, I don't think. Unless they just wait. How much do they earn at a time? 46. Through dividends, I don't think they, they're going to be able to afford. Especially when the, the next train along, the E-train, is £500. And the E-train makes their B-train rust. They're going to withhold. They get 230 But I want as much money as possible for the last stock round of the game and buy all of this stock in these companies while it's dead cheap. They won't withhold next time, though. And 23 will move them up too, so they will have profited a bit. I don't know. So yeah, they'll, they'll withhold this time, though. EUR. Have their one train. How much do they need? 360. They can afford. Okay. So first of all, upgrade and lay track. We will upgrade this bit of track, getting ready for E and H coming into the game. Should we read it into that? We'll do them a favor. And then, station marker, no, they've already got one there. So, their train does three stations. We worked this out before, haven't we? It's two, three, four, five. Or would this actually be better? Because they could go into a 60 station here. They would get a subsidy of 60. And their total value would be 120, 40, 160, 180. Yeah, that would be the best thing to do. A bit smaller and a bit less of a subsidy. I know, just do exactly what WVR did. And then your revenue will make up for that shortfall. But if it's 180, they do go up three spaces. Yeah, we'll do this. So their subsidy is only 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60. Only 60. Their subsidy is 60 because they're going through six tiles and it's a local train. Their total revenue is 180 
They don't need to withhold, I don't think. Yet. No. So I've got th three things of them. So what is that? That's... 54? Oh. <laughs> right. Yeah, that's 54. They've got a share in themselves, so they get 18. And unfortunately, they don't have... I've got to give them actually 18. I've got no change to make. And on the stock market, them paying out 18 gives them... Oh, it's only a double step. Still, it's summer, isn't it? Yes. Then, they paid revenue. They're going to purchase a train and put us into the D phase. Train that can go four stops. £360. They can afford it. And next run's going to be quite good for them. Okay. Redeem a share. They could. Because they would buy a share in themselves for 58. No, they're not going to not have a train. Ignore me. No, they won't redeem a share. I want them shares. I'm not going to have the money for that though, am I? Have I had my money? I sh yeah, I did have my money. So they've activated. And their shares have gone up. WVR is doing the same thing. Are they doing the exact same thing? And boost their share value? How much have they got in this Frankenstein pile of tokens? Do they need to withhold... So what have they got here? 80, 230, 255. So if they're getting... Yeah, they're going to have to withhold. Even with their subsidy, they're going to have to withhold so they can afford a better train. But do they want to do it now? Do they want to wait until we're in E? It's going to be a couple of things time. And then they can just go straight to like a... An E train. Instead of running with the B and D for a bit like... Europe are going to do and then find it harder. Eastern Union Railway. I have got three shares in them. I am doing myself out of another 54. Well, they could just not buy anything until the train's actually gone. Which is what I'm suggesting. Buy the shares cheap, they'll be worth more. Yeah, they will pay dividends. So they're doing this, the exact same thing that EUR just did. They're getting 20, 30, 40, 50, 60 in subsidies. And they'll get another 60 next time. Maybe that'll afford them a train. And the value is 180. So they will go up two steps. And they give me... I earn 54. And they earn 18. No problem. I meant to change this up into different things. They've still got a ridiculous number of chips for the money they've got so that's wvr done ecr have gone n and s still with their tiny train not doing anything they were like the first company that i bought because they have to start here we're in d the price hasn't changed
They need. They can build. What if they build so they're in London? And then if they get, they wait until the E trains, they'll be able to just go to London. Although if they buy a D train, they can do that. It's just their B is going to rust, isn't it? How much money have they got? N and S have just done terribly. Well, they wait until the E train rusts and they can use their share value. Yeah, so what what do they earn? 120. Which will move them two spaces. I just don't know if their share price is ever going to actually <laughs> earn them enough to buy another train. If their share value isn't enough, they can refinance. So how much money have they got? 146. They need to merge with someone, don't they? Like EUR or someone should have merged with them right at the start. They sh they should have merged rounds ago. They'll withhold their poultry 120 though in their desperate attempt to buy a new train. ESR can't, can they? It's like I would only get like 24 out of their profits. I'll I'll do without that. And then it's ESR who are like three steps from bankruptcy. Because I'm trying to make them afford a train, aren't I? And I think I got them there. It's just... Their B train will run out. So ESR... Want to deliver to London, don't they? They, want to, they, they only need a five freight... That'll sort them out. That'll sort them right out. So... Upgrade track. They could upgrade this so they can, like, go through it. They're not going to be able to link up to that port, though. But it's at least another step, isn't it? Because they need to end in London. So there's an upgrade. And maybe someone else can build them the other bits. They can still only go two steps. Trains is a really difficult bit for me of how the companies are supposed to be able to afford trains. So two steps... Yeah, that's the best thing still, isn't it? 120. But they can afford a train this time. So they will pay out. So 12 will boost them up three steps. I get 24. Oh, where's E&H? I haven't put... E&H should have gone ages ago. Not that they can do things, but... I forgot to put them on the stock market. Yeah, they would have bought a D-train, wouldn't they? On their turn. £360. Which just gets through the D-trains a bit. Not that we want to. And building things they would they would want to build a thing where they are i suppose you'd build it like this and maybe it can continue the the local route like that yeah that's what they did on their turn they were just coming back to so esr did their things they've moved up i've had my money from them i think that's a full operating round so the end of the game will be triggered so, we go through this, then there will be one more stock round and three operating rounds. So as soon as the first D train is bought, that's triggered. So, EUR runs. Merge, probably should. And then, like, your coffers are shared as well, and they could buy better trains. For now, they've got two trains, so they can now actually go... Through like seven stations and score six of them. So what is that going to be? They only have to go through 
One route has to go through this one. So would this work? If, if their builds were not Norwich, unfortunately. Oh no, that, that's that's too that's too urgent a curve. And you could just make this link up, couldn't you? Oh, you'd want it upgraded later for um, these are just getting thrown everywhere. <laughs> uh, they they can upgrade this later, so they can go through it. But now, that's a great big loop. So if you went through one, two, three, four station doesn't quite reach their home. Oh, but only one has to go through their home. And then you have to cross over. So one, two, three. They can do this loop, but they're not going no one train is going through the same place twice. Oh wow. They're gonna lose this train very soon. Oh so, uh, I needed to discard a train for the one that's here. So, this is four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Here's where we make some money. So that's 13 tiles, 130 in subsidies. The station we'll ignore is the one where they're crossing over. So we would score it twice anyway. So starting from here and then let's go around. 30, 50, 70, 140, 60, 80, 210, 230, 250, 270, 330. They are at now. Huge jump. And there is... Uh, oh, here's my little tub of them. You can take actions to put more of these little stations out, but it does not seem worth it. But if you build these tiles, you can uh, remember where the dots were. So 330, they will not withhold that. They will pay that right out. So I get 99. I have a feeling that like with a good player, you would be getting um, dividends like that ages ago. But hey, it feels good. I've never had dividends that high. They get 33. Because they have one, one share in themselves. And for paying out 33, they go up three. Brilliant. That's just in the threshold of going up three spaces. So their, their stocks are each worth 150. And because they're a chartered company, I can buy them for 58. Make my worth make myself worth even more next time. They will lose. The end of this round, everyone's going to lose their B trains because discarding two trains is going to take us into the E's. But it's just something we're going to have to deal with. Which is a problem for these companies. Hopefully they'll get enough money. We'll see, we'll see when it's their turn. So that was EUR. WVR are next. So they are doing the same thing, but their trains... They didn't buy a train. Why didn't they buy a train? Could they could they afford one? Oh, this is the this is the people that I never sorted their money out, did I? So that's a hundred. That's a hundred. Yeah, three hundred and thirty-three sadly didn't buy them a train. Because it would have been lovely for them to do the same thing. Drunk people explaining Paw Patrol. <laughs> I've only seen kind of shirts and kids merchandise of Paw Patrol, so I'll be lost of anyone explaining it. Hey, hey, Carl, thanks for subscribing. So they're just stuck doing the same old little routes they did before because they can only go to three stations. And this is a bit of a pain in the middle here. Yeah, there's there's a there's a there's a nasty little couple of big stations racking up the numbers when you've only got a little train. So they're just going to have to have the same amount of money. But they their subsidy, if they buy a train now, their subsidy will take them through. 
But if they buy a train, if they buy, if they withhold and get their subsidy, they might be able to buy the 500 train next time. But that'll only take you through five stations. It's not enough to do the whole circuit. What do these take you through? Four. That'll take you through a big chunk of the circuit, won't it? Maybe the circuit's too big. Oh, thanks, mate. Yes, support on Patreon. We've massively appreciated everyone. Because, uh... <laughs> let's say uh, it's going to be a big rest after this. I've, I've got to try and film um, a video for Hamlet tomorrow. Hopefully I'll have recovered. So they, they get their subsidy anyway, which is 30, 40, 50... How many stations do they go through? One, two, three. Yeah, this is their route, isn't it? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Is their subsidy. So, can we just make this into... Just give them hundreds and stuff so I don't have to keep separating this pile every time. So with the subsidy, yeah, they, they can afford a train, can't they? But I don't know if they should get it. Or should they wait? Should they withhold and wait? They've got 400. Do they even need to withhold? So they would get 18 from paying out. They would... Oh, they just wouldn't get a turn, though, would they? They wouldn't get to operate next time because they would have no train, is the downside of them not buying one now. Is that only one E-train? Is that right? I oh, know there's three. Why do I think there was one? Yeah, people lose their C-train. Nobody's got a C-train, so that's okay. I was thinking if we accelerate it more by buying these. They need to buy a train, don't they? Then an F everyone sees a lot. Oh yeah, no one's got C's. They'll buy a train. Oh, I don't want to. But they'll buy one. And redeem a share. No, don't do any of that. Oh, we didn't get dividends, did we? I should, I... Yeah, they're paying dividends out. So 180, it does move them up two spaces. I've got three shares in them. So what's that? 54. And they get 18. This is how they ended up with so much, much money, isn't it? Because they get 18s every time. Okay, ECR. Do they care about any of this? They could buy a train now. They would lose their B train, but it's going to happen anyway. How much money are they going to have? So the, their delivery can't change, basically. They've been stuck in this loop for ages. They make £230, which is decent. They have... Is that two... 296. If they withhold, they can buy an E-train, which they'll do. So yeah, their, their route hasn't changed, so they're still getting £230. And the E-trains are 500. Does this mess up anyone who hasn't gone yet, though? Yeah, it messes up N and S. Who really... <laughs> couldn't be in much more of a mess anyway. But they won't be able to operate. Someone should merge with them. E and H are going next. Why don't they merge with them? They're both express. Yeah. And then it won't be so bad. Oh, and ESR. 
What if ECR merge with them first? All right, don't buy a train just yet. Don't have any of your dividends or anything. Let's merge some companies and see how this works. Because otherwise we're going to have these companies that can't afford a new train and won't have any trains because they'll all have rusted. So I've avoided doing this because <laughs> we really know how it works. Uh, so they're not in receivership, so they can merge. You choose which will be the surviving company and the non-surviving. So ECR is going to merge with the other freight company, ESR. They can only merge if they're connected by track. They are. There must be an uninterrupted route between their station markers. That's why you might want station markers down as well. Um, you can't use stations in London to trace a connection. The new stock market price is the lower stock market price plus half of the higher. So that would be 43 plus 52. So 95. So the stock price actually goes up by one. Oh, the problem is, though, their new par price would be 95. I think that with this, they can do stuff, can't they? So even though the stock would cost 95, it'll be okay. I think. I don't know. Uh, they're both chartered. So yeah, their new par for ECR is 95. Lower than or equal to the new price. So 90 is their new par. ESR aren't even going to exist anymore. If either company has no trains, their stock market price is worth is treated as being worth half. So that's why we want to do it now. So share certificates for the merging companies are swapped two to one. Any affected shares at the top of a Tableau column are included in the swap process. Any other affected shares in the Tableau are ignored. They've got loads of ones on the top. So if the company is chartered, move... Oh dear. Okay, I've messed up for this then. Any of its shares... Is it both companies? So this is why you might want to wait... And just have NNS spin in their wheels a little bit. Because in the next stock round, I could try and buy up a load of this before they merge. When they're cheap. Oh dear, this game. If I merge both companies now, we'll lose all of these stock certificates that are out here. I'm not saying I'm going to be able to buy a billion of them, but surely it would be better to do that while I can buy... I could buy a load of ESR for 54, and then I'll lose half of it. But I, I can't buy... All of these shares in the merged companies will go into the bank pool where I can't interact with them ever again. And that will be true for NNS and ESR. But I could still buy shares in EUR for really cheap. So what's the problem? And you'll get dividends still from the company doing really well. Just do it. Yeah, 95. That's going up to 90 now. Let's just plow ahead, and you could tell me in the comments later if this was a daft thing to do. So, all of these ECR shares, but also, this is because I did all of this manipulation that I probably should have, I probably wouldn't have done, knowing this now. I put all of these on the top of these stacks, whereas if they were still mixed in, only the ones on the top of the stacks would go to the bank pool. I could let the company buy a load of their own shares now as well. So, all the shares you own that are affected go into a single pool. I've got four shares. Half of them rounded down 
go to the bank pool. Shares in the non-surviving company return first, then surviving company. So I keep my two shares in ECR, which are now worth more. There's some other rules, but don't worry about them. Any remaining shares in the non-surviving company must be sold to the bank for the current stock market price. So yeah, you can anticipate this and really manipulate it, can't you? Don't worry about that. All company treasury money and trains are merged. And their, fr and their permit. So maybe you'd want to... I don't know, would you want to do companies that do different things? I'm just merging ones that do the same thing. I don't know if that's the best thing to do. So yeah, they've, they've still got their freight permit. They receive... Oh, so they receive unused station markers equal to the other places. So they had two station markers they hadn't used, so they get two... They get ESRs two things. They remove... The non-surviving company station mark because get replaced with ECR ones makes sense. And there's some other rules if they've got them in the same place. You just take the non-surviving companies off. Surviving company keeps the permits. The non-surviving company's charter is back in the supply. Oh, you could restart the other company. Oh, unfortunately, I've already brought the things out. But, oh, that's that's cool. So you, you could restart ESR in another version of the game. If I hadn't... All of the things are in the bank now, so there's no buy in them. But if I hadn't done that, I could then restart ESR as a lower company and it'd be in a better position. If either company was non-chartered, the surviving company remains chartered. Yeah. So we don't have to worry about other bits. If the other company in the merger has already operated this round, the surviving company ends immediately. If the other company has not yet operated, you still have a turn. Okay, so you can't just have both turns. So now we can have a turn and we've got two freight trains that do two each end to end. And we don't have to worry about their starting thing. We can do one, two, three, four, start and end in a port and London. Oh yeah, ESR's gone. So how does this work for the calculation? Just make sure I get this right. So it's just the beginning and end of where they're operating now. So if they own multiple things and all of them are non-permanent, permanent, they must connect to each other end to end and only the end points of the combined run is scored. Each individual train must run to or through one of the markers. Oh, so in their, in their build bit, they could put a station marker down here so they're allowed to do this. Because the second train wouldn't be running through one of their markers. Now it is. So now, their run is... Nobody's bought an E train yet, have they? So we're not in E just yet. We're in D, so 100, 250. Because we start in a port, it's 30 for every intervening hex. So 250, 280, 310, 340 is their thing, which is way better... It's a bit worse than they did separately. They did 350 separately, but ESR was about to go bankrupt and lose its train. So I think this is better. So 350. They are going to lose both of those trains though. So do they withhold? So they can do one big train next time. We're about to go into this stock round though. But then they won't have a train. And they can't afford one, can they? Okay, maybe they can with... Because um, they've just merged money, haven't they? They should be able to afford a train. Yeah, I forgot about the merging money bit. One, two, three, four, five. They can afford a train without withholding money. 
So, 350, I've got two shares, so that's 50 pound coming my way. They've got two shares in themselves. Oh, how does it work for shares they had in themselves? Oh dear. Moody Company shares two to one. Following the same process used to swap your shares. So they had three, return half rounded down. So yeah, they would just... ESR would just have lost their share and ECR keep their two shares. So... I haven't given them their 70, have I? Okay. Yeah, <laughs> I need 70. I just... They, they should... Um, they should have lost some things, and they have now. So... I assume I can't start new companies in solo. Because there are no permits left. I don't know that, though. ECR... And now buying a train, I've kept their money... Yeah, I had their 500 for that. Because it's going to be their only train now. Now we're in phase E. But they do now have a six freight train. I don't think they can quite use that to its fullest from a port. One, two, three, four, five, six. One more they need. And then they can go from here all the way through so many tiles. It would have been perfect for them if Denmark hadn't been closed off from the start. Well, we could have changed that, but yeah. Water and the rest of it. So all your B trains, come back to me, please. But it should be okay. So next up, we've had ECR and my money off them. E and H are going to merge with N and S. I think. Yeah, we're all in one big loop, so surely we connect. Oh, they didn't do any track building, did they? We should... Um, ECR did a bit of track building, and in case anyone ever needs it, we'll... We'll upgrade that. It wouldn't have made a difference to their little route down here. But just for the, for the greater good. So in H... Can go on the side with the rest of the companies now. If they merge with N and S, I just lose N and S's two and I keep E and H's three. That would be quite nice. But then their share price goes up. But N and S haven't got a train. When they run, they haven't got a train and can't afford a train. But they're so far away from buying a train, I think we just merge them. And they... They can't actually have a good one now because ECR just bought an E-Train. Naughty ECR. They'll pull their resources though and hopefully they can do a decent run now. Yeah, merge. They are connected because we're all connected. Their new price is 62... Oh, half of 62. So 31 plus 44 is 75. So closest one would be 74. And that's their new par price. I lose my N and S shares. And is it so all of the affected things go to the treasury? N and S lose a sh Where's the bit about we lose all the cards? Hi, Frederick. How's it going? The 
If the company is chartered, and if anyone can tell me this, am I doing this right? When it says the share certificates from the tops of tableaus, should I just be taking one each off like the tops? Or should I be taking them all because I've kind of put them all on the top? I don't know if I'm overly punishing myself on that. I'll keep doing them all. And you can um, tell me if I'm wrong at some point. So all those go in there and they basically, their two NNS shares that NNS used to have become one ENH share for that company to have. Merge their resources. They didn't have any remaining station tokens, unfortunately. And then you basically become E and H stations. And I think that's it. Yeah, they don't gain a train. How much money have they got now then? Two companies disorganized piles of money. So there's a hundred, there's two hundred. Okay, so two hundred and twenty-six. The train doesn't rust until G. But if they withhold, they can get a better train. Let's uh, have them... So, building things. I don't know what we can really build. I suppose there's like... You can you can upgrade to Russet now. Like, this is ENH's start. So they've got to go through this. So unfortunately, oh, they can go to London though, can't they? NNS, we're in here. So, oh, let's let's not have them there. They haven't got enough um, tokens for this. So E and H can basically go there. So they are in London. One, two, three, four. Yeah, they can't come from a port just yet. But if they buy another train, maybe they can. So what if they upgrade? Oh, there's no Y involved. Just so it's worth a bit more money for everyone involved. It's not a Y, is it? Could upgrade this to a Russet one. It's worth another 10. Why not? And then one, two, three, four big stations is going to earn them 20, 50, 90. We are in E now, so 290 is what it will earn E and H. I think we'll have them withhold. Because then they can buy a train. Do we want that? If nobody else buys a train, just the D trains rust on G and that might be the worst thing for us. We want, like, one of the local trains to have a better train, I think. Yeah, they won't. Well, they haven't paid for it anyway, but they won't have their... We've got 290. They won't withhold. They'll pay out. So... 290 means I get 87. And they get 29.
I'd like to say, oh, it's not as complicated if you know what you're doing, but I feel like it would be. With 290, though, their stock price is so low, they go up four spaces, and all of a sudden, quite happy to be owning stock in them. And... You are have been there. And that's all the companies now, because I've got rid of all the other companies. So one more stock round, and that is it. I wanted to earn the money there, rather than them withholding and buying trains, because this is the last opportunity for me to buy new stocks. So. Oh, we need to discard two trains, which means next train bought is going to be an F. Where freight is seven. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Mm. Seven freight train would be spot on for ESR. They should have, ECR, they should have waited. They wouldn't have had any train there. Maybe they can afford one. Who knows? Right. So. And the other advantage of non-chartered companies, if I buy shares in them later on in the game, the money goes straight to them. Whereas all these chartered companies I've started, it's just going to the bank. So I've got quite a bit of money. So it's that. That's 50. Another 200. Just piles of chips everywhere. So I have got here 452 to buy some things with. They're not even in the game. What should we buy stocks in? Well, the obvious answer is EUR. I think there's going to be three more operating rounds and then the end of the game. So what if we buy all these shares in EUR now, because they're so cheap, we will let them run how much did they earn last time? 330. Trains are going to be 600. Move. W. We are from the third stack. It's the end to get up NMB. I think these are all gone. Uh, yeah, all of these companies have gone from the game now. This is what we've got left. If I buy the EURs, I can get the E and H. They're all companies that have gone. L and E have gone. Right. What I'm trying to think is, if if EUR do the same as they just did, I think they would get a. They wouldn't get three hundred and thirty, would they? Because they've they've only got one train now. They can only go to four stations. And one has to go through here. So one, two, three, four, eight, eighty in subsidies, one hundred and forty, one hundred and sixty, one hundred and eighty, two hundred and forty. So that'd be another three hundred and twenty. If they withhold next time, three hundred and seventy, three ninety, four hundred, five hundred. Five hundred and seventy-two. Even if they withhold next time, they can't afford another train, and they've got a decent amount of money. Maybe they should merge with WVR. Then they would have two four trains, and and they'd be able to buy an F train. But doesn't that get to the point where that's too many trains? Probably. Probably not worth doing, is it? Just keep taking little baby steps up. Just, yeah, my, my company, I feel like they should be higher on. That high adjusted, by the way. I only, <laughs> I only responded to your second message. Um, they're probably just going to have to live with the trains they've got. And they're actually going to lose them because the, the bot will next discard three trains, which puts us into G at the end of that operating phase. So they might have to merge. 
just to have any hope of affording. A train. Yeah, they'll have to merge, won't they? And then they can have one great turn with two four trains. And... Then buy the... Actually, they got to buy the F train. Well, the G's coming out. The F is permanent. It's just the, the G would take you to six stations and score five of them. It's the way it goes, though. But either way, it would be nice to buy shares in them before they merged. What would they go up to? 150 halves. So that'd be 75. So they'd go up to 182 they would be worth. And whatever happens, I'm buying them here for 58. ECR and E&H have just gotten more expensive, but they're still it's still a profit because they're chartered companies. It's just, whatever I buy here, because they're merging, I lose half of them. So you are kind of paying the combined amount of these. Or you want an even number. Which I can buy. So then you're buying 120 to be worth 182. It's still worth it, isn't it? Because their stock values are only going to be worth half of that if I let them lose the trains. Or I just buy up all the stock of the company that's about to go bust. The, I, I choose the surviving company to be the one I've got more of. Because you lose half rounded down. If I buy them, that's 58 times 3, so what, 174? I've got a load of shares in them now. Oh, you can buy the socks from company charters as well, can't you? That's, that's something else I'm missing. You can buy them from the company. But then they cost the current stock price. So that's when you want to, you know, sell your stocks, have them withhold and go down, and then buy the stocks from them. Okay. Late game realizations. So now I've got three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine stocks. So I would lose these and one EUR. But if I bought one less, I would still lose an EUR. So we can buy an E and H. That's 74. It is worth 100. And they're going to have some good turns, I think. They're not going to merge, so I don't have to worry about that. Let's get one back from that. It's all profit, isn't it? Why don't I just buy them? And then I can just have the EUR from the thing if I need it. I just lose all the WVRs and keep hold of all of the EURs. But because then you're paying 184 not to lose 150, it's probably not worth it. Just lose one of the EURs and leave them where they are and keep hold of the money. Is I think the thing to do. I could buy. When can I buy the shares? Yeah, I can buy the shares from the company now, in the stock phase. Should I buy a share in a company? And... Like, anticipating that they're going up. 
it's probably not worth it with a EUR, but what about ECR? They've got this six freight train. They're going to make a fortune. Buy their two shares for 95 each. And they're about to have a massive turn, I think. Does the money go to the bank? Buying shares from the tableau. If you're buying shares in a company from... If you're buying shares directly from any company that goes into their treasury, so they could use this... And that's another thing that I should have been doing ages ago. Then they would have been able to afford trains. So do I just buy EURs and then not worry about them merging at all? It's 150 quid, but then they have 150 quid. And if they withhold... WVR won't have a train. Because they won't have the money and they will still lose. Okay, I don't know what's going to happen with them. I'm just going to buy ECRs. Or if he, I buy in H's, they would have close to 600. They're just express though, aren't they? Like with the with the permits, giving, giving them the money. And then they merge, they'll definitely be able to afford an E without having to withhold anything. I'm going to buy another share off them. And yeah, t tell me later how long this might have been. Which I think then, so I don't lose two of these. Because now I've got ten, so I need to lose three of these and two of these. I'll buy another one of these, which I can just about afford. Because then I only need to lose one of the EURs again. Just to give them that money, so they can buy that train, I think is a good idea. I don't know. I've got two pounds is all I know. So there, we're not doing that anymore. So that's the end of the stock round. And we have three operation rounds, starting with EUR. Are they going to merge now? So if they merge later, WVR doesn't get a turn. So you probably want them to merge now, right? Should they even be merging? Gonna merge them. So the they get all of this. EUR should get two more tokens because they should. I've left some tokens in the box. So you become an EUR, and that's just that. I have to give up one EUR, but that's what they get from the bank. They've got to share in themselves again. So, yeah, I don't know if you should have merged all of your things. You should have done it earlier on and then bought the companies again and if you can do that in solo. So they've got a nice stack of cash now, which hopefully by delivering to a ridiculous number of places, their subsidy will make it, because we're basically, whatever happens, the AI is making everyone lose their trains, is the driving force behind this. Maybe I shouldn't have let it get to that, but we are where we are. It's eight, there's a hundred. There's a hundred. They've got a decent amount of cash though. They've got 510 on hand. Hopefully they can deliver to at least nine places and then they'll have the money for a F train. So. New rail. Do they need new rail? They can go to eight stations now. Have to go through their EUR. 
One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. You could actually, like they're not going to be able to go to eight stations next time, but that should definitely be like that, shouldn't it? Because rather than just going straight along, they just branch out and there's an extra tile on the way. Yeah, I think so that their path is around here, locals. Yeah, so not not going to here, and not going to these two. This great big thing here. They're going to have to stop a little bit short, and they can certainly cross over at that point, can't they? So that is going to be... How many tiles? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15 tiles. So yeah, I, I don't know if they even needed my money. Maybe that was a bad move. But they can pay me dividends and my stock in this company now is pretty good. I own almost all of the company that you can. You can only ever own 70% in solo. I own 60% of it. 60%. So, actual numbers on the tiles and they count everything. 60, 80... 120, 140, 160, 190, 210, 230, 250, 280, 330, 350, 370, 390 is, I think, their final total. So again, they've not really jumped by that much. They were at 330 last turn, but they had more trains and stuff. So 390 now. Oh dear. 390 times 6. So... What's that going to be? It's going to be like 240 minus 60. It's like 180, right? In my stocks and shares? Let me know if I'm right on that. 39 times 6. They get 39 because they have one share. Um, let me check that. 234. I've had six too much. Maths at this point. Right, so they paid out 39, which is going to be, at this stage in the game, a double jump. Can they afford to pay to make it look better? So what are they at? 39. They would have to pay 60, basically. They can afford to do that, to do a triple jump. I don't need this money they've got. They're going to put 60 in with George Hudson's manoeuvre. So they can go three steps up because I want my shares worth more. They can still afford the train. So they're going to buy an F train because unfortunately their next turn is not going to be as good. Yeah, they need to as well, because otherwise they'll start the next turn with nothing. Hmm. And I think that's... We probably should have looked into acquiring companies and stuff rather than just merging them all. It is what it is. I'll, I'll <laughs> acquire a company next time. It's next time. No, then I'll never play again. I just don't know if I'll ever stream again. <laughs> if I'll ever have time. We're coming up to... This is, this is about my limit to uh, have time to stream. 
But we're nearly there. Then. So EUR have been. They've paid their things. WVR doesn't exist and shouldn't be on here. Oh, have I not? I didn't merge their stock values, did I? Oh, dear. So... They, they merged, and I should have made them 185. They paid 60 to move up, didn't they? So, 39 gets them two steps, and they would have to pay too much to go three steps, so they won't pay that 60. Maybe they'll pay it in future, if they need it. What would they have needed? You'd need to add about 300 or something to it at this point. No, they can't do that. Okay. So there we go. That's them sorted now. So their par price should be 100. Then it's E and H. So E and H upgrading things. It's Express. So, and this is their starting point. They're going here, aren't they? One, two, three, four. So upgrading this to Russ, it would turn it, it would just be 10 more. It's 10 more a time upgrading these cities. So it doesn't particularly matter. For this purpose, anyway. So there we go. They're going here to London. So 30, 60, 100, 400. Like even that, just like. A little, a sm much smaller route, but going to London with one train was better than everything they just did. But they did get the subsidy as well. So they're doing 400. I have four shares in e &H, So that's going to be 160 for me, isn't it? They've got a share in themselves, so they get 40. And share value 40 or above, four steps. So their shares are worth 150 now. Oh no, are they paying? Are they paying dividends though? Take it back. They're not paying dividends. Four steps, one back. I don't get that, and they don't get their 40 because. They need to be able to afford a train. So they're going to keep that 400. And I would love for them to wait and buy a... a G. So it could go six spaces instead of five, but... they're going to buy this F. They are permanent trains now, at least. But yeah, the end game trigger is... It's happened, basically. Uh, it's as soon as the first D train is bought. You play out the round, then there's one more stock round and three more operation rounds. And I'm on. That first operation round, but everybody's trains are about to go out of the game. So, yeah, we're in trouble. Well, yeah, there's just a lot to do. Hey, Rach. Welcome to trains. Why are you playing this game that you started playing? Four hours, four hours in. That's trains. Um, so they've run, they kept their money, they've done all of that, ECR go next, so building new things, they can go six spaces now, which, is that enough? No, we worked out that it wasn't, one, two, three, four, five, six, no, they need one, two, three, four, five, they needed seven, didn't they, to get to the port. Would it still be worth one, two, three, four, six? Uh, no, that's not enough. It would be lovely for them to start from a port, but they can't do it. This one's too short, and I don't think it would be worth it. Well, this is 130. And if you start from like. The maximum distance they can do is there, but their start point is then 20. So I think that's a waste of time. It's just a shame they couldn't have waited. They wouldn't have had a train this time, though, and so wouldn't earn any money, and it would be worse. So the money they would earn here would be 
330 plus 30 in between, so 360 they would get. 400, 580. They would not be able to buy a train because they're all gone. So they can only buy G's. But then they would both be permanent and they can run parallel. 700 though they need. So what, what did I say they were getting? 360. If they stay as they are. Which is only 10 more than they earned before because one of these has been upgraded. Oh, they can upgrade this as well, can't they? Like this can be upgraded, but it makes no difference. It can be upgraded to an 80. It might matter for like Express or something though. It's just because it's an end tile that it's good to be upgraded. It just doesn't make a difference to freight though, does it? So they've got what? 200... And 46 plus 360. I should have maybe bought one of their shares. I was going to. If I bought one of their shares, they would be able to afford the train that got them to the port instead of just this. But I've only got two shares in them, so they're just going to have to stay as they are, I think. So 36 twice, so I'll get 72 money. If they can't afford a better train, they might as well just pay out the dividends. And then they get 72 as well. Not going to be able to get a train with it. And for 72... Oh no, no, for 36. If they put 20 into it, which they will, they can go up four spaces. And at least make the stocks worth more. And that's it, isn't it? Did e &H? Yeah, e &H kept their money, didn't they? So they could afford a train. So then, EUR go again. Oh, no, we, we discard three trains. So we are like... We're into the H's. The last trains, they're 800 pounds. So that was probably the last opportunity for anyone to buy a train. Everyone's still got a train each. But they could go further. So EUR... Our local, they can go to five stops. One, two, three. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, they can't do the whole loop anymore. So that's the best they can do. Miss out this bit here. Because they've got to go through their home turf. And to get two here, they'd miss two here. So one, two, three, four... 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 tiles still. Get them 120. And then... 30, 50, 70, 110, 130. Oh, we can upgrade this. 210, 230, 250, 270, 350. It's only a bit worse, and they've only got one train now. They're not in the game, are they? So, what have I got? Six things. So I get 210. They get 35, because they've got one share. This is where you just want to use their money, though. They're never going to be able to afford to buy a train. So we just want to use their money to bump up if they can. So with 35... Are they on here? Yeah. They paid out 35. If we can bump it up... to four, So if they pay 90... Which they will... They can go up two spots instead of just one. So their stock's 275. Not going to buy companies and all of that stuff. Then ECR, upgrading things. Yeah, it's just a shame I couldn't make it better for them. Would it be better if, like, if they upgraded 
the tile they start on. Like here. It's just your start point is so low, you're losing 100 from here. Yeah, they should have done this last time. It is better. So, 30, 230, but plus... 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, yeah. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 times 20, plus, so it's 100, because you're only times in by 20, because you're not going from a port. So 330 in total. No, so it's not as good. It's better to just have 330 from the start and end points here. Oh, and then you've got two in the middle, so it should have actually been 390 last time. So I should have another six, and so should they. Maybe that would have let them get enough if they'd have withheld it, but we'll never know now. I'm not going back. Yeah, they're going through two tiles, so it should have been 390. I don't know if the extra 40 would have done it. So yes, we've had the dividends. They are... So for 39, if they pay 40... Can they pay, like, 180? They can't get a train. Then they can go up... What have they got? 39. If they make it 57 by paying 180, yeah, then it's four steps. Just have all of that corruption at the end. No more buying things. Ian Angel, all the way back here. Can do a, a pretty decent thing, can't they? So they have to go through this. One, two, three, four. So they can start from up here. They can upgrade one of them to rust it for an extra turn. So then it's going to be 40, 70, 100, 140, 340. Oh yeah, they had two trains last time, didn't they? So just wondering why it dropped. 340. So I get... What's that? Four shares, 136. It's not a lot, is it, of dividends still? Because the companies are so low. And the they've got one, so they get 34. Okay. And then their share price for 34, if they pay 20, which in what world won't they do that? They will go up four steps. It's making my shares worth more. Definitely going to end up with more than 2,000, which is more than my last score. I'm, I don't think I'm going to win, but it's better, isn't it? Final operating round. EUR. Upgrading things. What do they care about? They're just going, just going through stations, really, aren't they? So it's here to here, isn't it, that they go. So we could upgrade Like this bit, and it will help out. It will help out um, the express people with 10 more as well. So they're doing the exact same thing, aren't they? It's just worth 10 more now because I've upgraded that thing. So that's 216 for me. Yeah. Then they get 36. And then if their value, if their payout was 36, they got one spot. This is the last thing, so they might, I might as well have them pay everything, hadn't I? What can I send them up to? 
How much money have they got? Not a lot. They haven't got tons. 30, 40, 90, 110, 130, 140, 150, 170, 180, 190. They've got 200. So they could make it 560. If they make it 550, so they would have 10 in their bank, they can move up two instead of one which makes my things worth 40 extra each, and I've got a lot of them, so definitely. Corruption. Then, E and H. Can upgrade something, might as well. I've run out of these tiles, I, I do like, I use these tiles for kind of face down bits because you don't usually get to, I don't usually do a lot of russet tiles. The rule book does recommend you do that. Oh, there we go. But I kind of used all the russet tiles. And now I do need them. You just upgrade that. Make it worth... You're doing the same route, aren't you? But it's worth 20 more. Because... Oh no, this is, this is ECR. So ECR can upgrade this one. That I also haven't got a tile for. Oh, there we go. There we go. I've done their upgrades. Already. So they get 10 more than they got before. So I get 80. Um, just give me 100. And then they get 80 as well. Just give them 100. And so their income was 40. Can we get it to 63? So they can move up three spaces. So that would be 230. I don't think so. No, the, a lot of these are ones. 150, 170, 184. So no. But they can pay 20. So they can move two spaces. They're kind of high up, aren't they? It's just the jumps you can see on the board here. The jumps, it's going, it's going up by like 100 as it goes up here. And then finally, E and H go. So theirs is the same, but it's boosted by 20. Because these two have now been upgraded. And so 36, and I've got four of them. So that's 144 to me. Give them six. I'll have 150. I had a decent pile of money this time. I didn't at the end of the last game. And then... They get uh, 36. Give them 40. So 360. So their power was 36. So they're on here. Power was 36. Can they make it 54? Have they got 280? I don't think so. 160, 180, 205. Um. So what is it? It's 360. If they pay 50, they can move up three steps. Boosting the dividends artificially. But that makes it a lot better for me, I think. So just check in the end of the game. And... Oh, companies can't merge with each other in the very last set of three. So E and H couldn't have merged. But hey, there's probably a million asterisks on this. Trains can only be... Oh, you can buy trains... From... Companies can buy trains from each other as well. Probably should have tried that at some point. Like if you're about to lose a train, you could... If one company is about to lose a train and they've already gone, another company could buy it from them and get more use of it. Yeah, this I think I've established over these four hours <laughs> there is uh, just a, a mass of strategic depth that is um, missing from me. But we will assume that I did everything right and do a score because it will make me feel happy and give this a sense of completion at the end. Hopefully. 
oh, you can only use the George Hudson if you're short of... Is that like if you're short, if you're not going up at all? You can only pay it to go up one. Hey, Red Eye Ghost, by the way. Because I will have to knock some people back down if I haven't read that properly. So it's like, if you weren't moving up at all, you could fake it to move up one step. Is that is that what it actually is? Rather than you can just pay money to pretend you had more dividends. I think they should be about... Yeah, I'm just... I'm, I'm probably punishing myself a bit too much there. But yeah, they should definitely be a fair bit lower. Hey, I'm not going to win, so let's not worry. But... I will know for the future. So, in front of me, I have 900, 1,000, and 40 pounds. I'm going to forget that instantly. Unfortunately, this isn't a math calculator. 1,040. Oh, here we go. I've got thousands. This is what I got thousands for. Which is like half my score from last time. Thanks, Rach. And then... We finished. Just about. So, EUR, I've got six shares, and they're worth 245 each. I've tried to correct that. I've, I've probably done... I probably did some early George Hudson's, although I haven't really had the money for it most of the game. So that's worth 1470 why are you doing it with chips? Because I haven't got any paper. And I like changing down chips at the end. It's, it's your cash in hand plus your total value of your shares. So ECR is 210, but I've only got two of them. <laughs> so 420. These poker chips are just everywhere. Just zooming out a little bit, it's just... Well, you can kind of see from the <laughs> chaos over this side. Then... e &H only got to 134. But I feel like this is, like, double my last score. So, 536. Maybe not quite double. So I think the final score is 3,466. I should get this up on screen. <laughs> your, your rankings, is it on the little piece of paper? It is on the little piece of paper. Your solo rankings begin... Uh, 9,000. So, while I have improved my score by over a 1,000, I'm not even halfway towards winning the game. But there have been a kind of, as well as the corrections on things like the George Hudson manoeuvre, that probably would have helped me move. I don't think I ever didn't move one step. Um, but yeah, things like merging earlier on, when to merge, when to acquire, still haven't acquired a company. We did have a merge as well in the last... Um, OR, that I just realised we weren't allowed just before we started calculating things. Yeah, there's um, there's a lot of things that still are to be discovered and to be dived into, but hey, four and a bit hours later, <laughs> it kind of like left us off the road. Like four hours is about the maximum I could have because I still need to, I've got to go and build a bed. I'm not even here. I've got to travel and then go and build someone's bed. Um, but yeah, I thought about four hours is about all I can really give. So hopefully, yeah, we, we got there is my point. I'm kind of all <laughs> just flatlining. Well, not quite there, but yeah, can't even form sentences really. Although I did only make myself a small drink and then I let it get cold and I've not got a drink that's too hot. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed that. Whether it made sense or not, I think the explanations early on, they'll, they'll make sense. My decisions probably won't, especially if you know 1862. The decisions will probably just be chaos and arbitrary. 
But there we go. I would say, yes, it is an incredibly heavy game. It is uh, confusing coming into 18xx's from not having played them before. But yeah, it, it's a fascinating system. And it was saying like kind of with every discovery that I'd um, made during the game of, oh yeah, I should have been doing this for the last couple of hours. Oh, I should have been doing this uh, ages ago. Oh, what about merging them? And then just like at the last minute, what what if a company had just bought a train from like in the round that you know you're going to lose trains? Why doesn't like company A has their turn? Why doesn't company B then buy their train if they've got the money for it, and then get use out of two trains? But then they wouldn't have a train. Hopefully they will have bought a train that's better though. I don't know. Maybe that will work out for A trains and such. I don't really know. I just know that like there's clearly a lot of work to be done because these companies should probably be up here you probably shouldn't merge all of your companies so that you've got all these shares in companies that are doing better and uh yeah the biggest the biggest thing in the way probably i think i did a very good job of seeing a route and getting a nice little route in it's probably a little bit too big that's probably bigger than you can really do e and h kind of got in the way there and these companies i think like these companies here were the ones out of the game from the start, so it would have been nice to have some of them. But the, I didn't want to mulligan it because uh, I had a decent setup. Like, I know what a decent setup is. But hey, I, I don't know if there'll be another 1862 stream, but I hope you enjoyed, even if you haven't seen 18xx before, dipping your toe into it and seeing what it's like. Although this apparently is not typical of an 18xx game in many ways. I don't know which ways. I haven't played another 18xx game. And uh, yeah, maybe I will. I'd, I'd be keen to like... Time is the big thing of like... Even things like Mage Knight. I haven't played Mage Knight in nearly a year now. Since the anniversary week last year. Which is like the end of April. I haven't played Mage Knight since then. Just because it's just like... Well, that's like three and a half hours. And I don't know if I've really got time to stream that. Or definitely not to play it in the little bit of private time. But it's, that's just uh, situations and stuff, isn't it? Because I just think I was quicker playing it off stream, of course, because you're not narrating things. But also I was quicker off stream because I was doing so badly. And just I don't know how I even got like 2,300 or whatever I got. It's because there was more companies as well. And they, so even if they were worth around this, there were six companies and I had bits and bobs in uh, each of them. But there we go. That is some kind of 1862 hopefully the basics there's definitely yeah there's a load of little rules there's a load of uh, little there's a load of little rules and things loads of i don't know about quirks but just just little things to remember i, f I feel pretty good about it anyway uh, compared to how i thought it was gonna go I, I mean i feel like every stream has got the potential to just devolve into me not knowing anything about the game and just uh, forgetting it all but i feel like uh yeah for for how uh, nerve-wracking uh, extremely heavy game is, I think it went pretty well. And even if we find out even more was wrong with it, I feel like the experience is there. And hopefully, like, uh, we'll, we'll find out in the comments later, but if you've never, like, seen this type of game before, which I haven't, like, I know 18xxs exist and people get into them and stuff, and, yeah, I've, I've never played one there was there would they never went on at the uh, big game group we used to go to so yeah it's it's been cool to try it out and i can see why uh people like can really just get lost in just the kind of depth in all of this stuff because really there is no ai in this it's all kind of your decisions there is randomness in you know the how many the order in which how many trains get discarded but then you see that and can work around that and the order of the uh, train permits but again you see that at the start of the game and can work around it the companies that are out of the game you see it at the start and can work around it so like loads of it is in i think i took enough time at the beginning anyway trying to come up with some kind of plan out of here's the map that you've got here's the companies that are in the game here's your patience thing and the stocks you might be able to get that is a, a brilliant puzzle to to begin with and yeah i really like that element of it as well that was a plus when i was looking into the game for the first time seeing like oh it's it's edward's favorite i'll look at this 
wow, what's going on with all these numbers? And then it's got patience in it. It's got um, it's got solitaire Klondike mixed into it. It's got to be worth a try. But yeah, I'm definitely even if this just kind of gets put in a box like Mage Knight and stays with me thinking, oh, maybe I'll have time for that and never actually get into it. I'm glad that um, I gave it a proper go and got to experience it because, yeah, it is ridiculously heavy, but I really enjoyed the kind of mental stress. It's a different kind of um, mental stress than, um, say, a more... The, my my usual kind of wheelhouse, the as I was saying, like this is the same weight according to Board Game Geek as on Mars, and I would say probably got the same kind of feeling of just like I kind of get this. I have got no idea if any decision I am making is contrib is positively contributing to my performance in the game. Because on Mars, like especially with the expansion and stuff. Kind of got a bit more used to it with repeat plays, as you would with this. It's just, uh, it's time, isn't it? I imagine, though, like, I wonder how people can um, play this. If you, if you play this a lot and you've just got the game down, as I was saying at the start, the actual number of rounds in the game, there aren't that many. So I imagine, like, if, if you just know those rules, you've got those rules down, and you kind of know what you should be doing, the puzzle will still be there, but you'll get it done in... Uh, Half the time, maybe? Maybe that's wishful thinking. But hey, I'm going to stop talking now and uh, do things that don't involve my brain for a while and let that guy relax. Thank you very much for being here. If you would like to help me keep making playthroughs, especially um, ridiculously heavy ones uh, that I put in votes, well, I've, I've got it. I wanted to play it things winning votes get them played uh, patreon.com forward slash slicker drips thank you to everyone who supports me on there and everyone who's been watching too next week <laughs> it's not well it's going to be a bit lighter i think but still pretty heavy with uh, clinic by alvin viard <laughs> another um, well a, a heavy euro game but i have played before i'm gonna have to remind myself and i've never played any of the expansions so we'll see how that goes uh, on patreon when i edit it which is probably going to be friday now I don't know. A, a, a last minute video got in the way that I need to do tomorrow. So at some point soon, Paladins of the West Kingdom, um, City of Crowns expansion. There's a solo playthrough for that that's going to be pre-recorded and edited. It will be going up on Patreon in a few days. And that will be out on the normal channel next week at some point. And on Friday at 5 p.m. GMT, Rach will be joining me and we're going to be cracking open Eon's End Legacy of Gravehold. I don't know if that's going to be a full thing or if we're just going to do one uh, episode for a taste. You'll find out on friday uh, so yeah join me for those if you would like see on social media on mondays when i post what i'm doing thanks for being here most of all though and i will actually go and not string this along forever thanks everyone see ya bye bye